What's up, fellas? Give me one Pico second. Stream recap 61. Alrighty, fellas. Good morning, good morning. How are we doing today? Everybody in chat talking about early stream. Uh, yeah, there was a time change. So it is currently 12 p.m. for me, but if that makes for an early stream for some of you guys, hey, that's just double good news, okay? What's up, what's up? Good morning, good morning. How are we feeling today? Uh, pretty simple day. I don't have anything like super exciting or crazy to talk about, in all honesty. Um, I might go sell some Pokemon here in a bit. That might be a good little exercise. Wake up, get the brain moving a little bit. And then other than that, man, I, I thought about for a while. I debated back and forth whether I should try to attempt the gym run today, the advanced gym run, whether I should like just casually go through the motions. I've kind of decided on slash leaned on just, uh, what's it called? I've kind of decided on just shiny hunting today, but that might change if I kind of get like a wave of energy or if I feel like it, I really want to kind of run through it slowly, casually, see the route. We could do the route today, but it's unlikely. I'll be honest with you up front. So let's just see what happens. I'm just shiny hunting today. We're at 44,145 encounters. So I am trying to break the dry streak. Today, it's supposed to be wet year. It's supposed to be 2024, year of the wet shinies. Hasn't really, I mean, it's, it's sort of played out like that at the very beginning for the first two shinies. And then it's been bone dry ever since. Hopefully we can break that. But what's up, fellas? How are we doing, dude? Dudes, rather. Ooh, good morning, Rumel. Good morning, Sim Killer. Good morning, Vivid. Good morning, Cosmos. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Clue. Good morning, Mr. Bussy. What's up, Cosmic? I didn't say it yet. Tom, Zino. What's up? What's up, guys? Yeah, stream's an hour early for you guys, for some people. What an early live. What's up, Tiago? Yeah, the clock's changed. Clock's changed for me. I heard someone, um... So, dude, I'm, I don't I don't know how that stuff works. Obviously, clocks change for some areas. Do you guys just change at di a different time? Or, like, how is it? Because I know, um... I was watching another... Another content creator that I enjoy. Uh, Get the Great Games, who just does, like, retro video game content. Like, specifically, like, there's, there's a lot of, like, grading video game content. And he lives in, like, Saskatchewan. Like, he lives in Canada. And he talked about how, um... They just like don't move the clocks, or they just like kind of like observe. It's interesting. At the end of the month, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What's up, so so? What's up, little Zoro? What's up, Retso? What's up, Battle Brown? Yeah, I appreciate it, Retso. I appreciate the call to action, dude. What's up, what's up, dude? How do you feel about daylight savings? Should we cancel it? I, I feel like everybody's always like, ah, oh, fuck it, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, most boring Petrowski answer. I don't have a, a take on it, dude. I, I have no idea if we do we actually need daylight saving still is I I don't know man I'd have to like I'd have to do the the bore I'd have to like read some papers on it I don't fucking know dude I have no idea man didn't catch out Dino good luck to you dude Verges of the calendar yeah I I little I literally don't even know the arguments back and forth so I feel like I'm definitely the kind of person where like I either like learn something or I don't. So, like, there's a lot of things where I'm like, yeah, I have no take on that. I have no opinion. Like, I just, I don't know the, I, I know the vague, maybe outlines of the arguments, but I don't know them well enough, right? Um, I think I either, like, I either have, like, a pretty firm opinion or no opinion, usually. Because I, if, if I, if my opinion isn't firm, I just say that I don't have one. So I don't want to, like, stake something on something that I'm not super research or confident in. Something as uh, illustrious as daylight savings time. <laughs> the good meme, dude. And some people happy seeing it get light, lighter a lot later. Yeah, I feel it, dude. Yeah, I, I feel like what's the there's some quote where it's like one of the most one of the most powerful things you can say is I don't know, which I it, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's something like I don't know. It's really easy once you start doing it, but I think it's hard to start doing. I guess the meme. Um, My friends are farmers and none of us like it. Yeah, I don't dude. I don't know. Shamo. Fair enough. Gib shiny plus. Good luck to you, dude. Good luck, gamer. Hopefully we can all, hopefully we can all give shiny plus today, guys. I dream of a day that me and everybody in chat can give shiny plus. That's all what we're here for. Let's see what happens, dude. Seasonal, yeah. Dude, okay, so I've got donor status for 28 more days, which feels kind of crazy. Shiny at 4444, dude, we'll see. When it stays lighter longer. Dude, honestly, the most annoying thing for me with any of the time, I, I don't like when it's, um, when it's like fucking gets like peak brightness at like t i'm usually asleep at like it depends but like i'm usually asleep until 10 a.m you know i, I usually I'm, my, my normal wake up time is around 10 a.m 
So if it's peak brightness outside at 10 versus like noon, right? Man, it wakes me up way, which is brutal. Not a fan of that for sure. Look at my price check. Yeah, did you redeem the, the point arenos? Yes, of course you can, Claude. Are my uh, whispers open? You of course can, dude. Shiny Pony Talk coming up. I hate you for that prediction, dude. Yeah, my whispers are open. You can DM me the price check, dude. Some blackout curtains. You want to know one of the most fucked up things, Clarko? Um, I actually really do need blackout curtains. Dude, there's certain apartments. Like, the last place, the, the last condo, I don't live there anymore, but the last condo I lived in, they, they wouldn't let you put up blackout curtains, which is cringe as fuck to me. And they wouldn't let you, like, uh, they, they had weird rules on, like, the stuff you could have in your window what the fuck why i don't know dude i, I which is yeah maybe dude chuckle i don't i i i hate sunlight waking me up dude i don't even know i j just like not being able to i don't know yeah see inside i <laughs> do just wanna i don't know dude that's strange they also had a rule against no um what's it called they had a rule against no um like ac units in the in the sticking out the window or whatever I broke that rule 100% because my AC broke one summer. It wasn't like it, that. It, it was like it was broken and the, the mechanic I do or whatever, he, he dude, he was so backed up. It was something about like, um, I don't know if there's any like AC people in chat who could who could reaffirm this or whatever. But I kept hearing like all the parts and all the like during COVID and stuff, all that shit was on back order because everybody was at home running their AC units, which just makes sense, you know? Um, so a lot of, a lot of people's AC units died through COVID and stuff, which is funny. It's a funny consequence. Um, but I it took me like a year to get my, to get that AC replaced. So I'm back over during COVID, yeah. Yo, what's up, Chiku? What's the best possible option I can breathe? I mean, you can do something normal with nature, but it like, you can do, yeah. So... Uh, what's the best alpha dragonite I can breed? Five times thirty-one or six times thirty-one with nature? You can always do six times thirty-one with nature, but is it worth it on dragonite? Becomes the question. Thank you for wasting our money. Yo, Evosia with thirty-three months of prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Did you say oh? Oh, like the like the wave. I see you now. I see you now. Like for dragonite, you can go mixed on dragonite and go like rash or naive, like something like that, and go the special attack IV as well. But like most of the time, you're just gonna go full physical with like jolly. Like, you don't need special attack IV on most Dragonites. Um, you do want bulk. Like, I, like Dragonite's one of those Pokemon that honestly does kind of really, like, really benefits. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on any competitive Pokemon, I kind of, I respect going five times thirty-one for Dragonite. Having that extra bulk for to help your multi-scale and to help you roost up and protect that multi-scale and like, like Dragonite truly needs every stat. It's it's so like every speed stat, every attack, like every little bit of it is actually so relevant. Um, do do do. Uh, what's shiny you're going for right now? This location's awesome. It's one of the best, probably the best single encounter spot in all of Pokemon. It has four rares. Uh, my priority list in order goes number one, Sudowoodo. Number two, Mr. Mime. Number three, Breloom. Number four, Scyther. And number five, Krikatoon. The first four are all like considered quote-unquote rares, which is cool. Even though technically, Mr. Mime is technically like an uncommon encounter. Um, but it's still, I don't know, I would still consider it like a rare personally. But it's technically it does have one uncommon encounter. Someone whispered me in game a price check. Is this it? Is this the price check arena, Claude? We know you love Ponyta, yeah. Quit lying, Pat. We know you love Ponyta. I would be ecstatic with any shiny here except for Ponyta. Um, Sarabia would be like the next worst one, but I'm, I don't have one, so I'm still fine with it. Um, the One of the only single encounter shinies I have was a single encounter Rapidash, which is like the, one of the most common, you know, shinies in the game to hoard. Uh, to get that via single encounter sucks. If I were to get that again, that would extra suck. So I'm really hoping to not see a Ponyta. Yes, it is. Okay, we got this 5 times 31 Jiggly. I like, Relaxed Nature is actually relevant, which is cool. I'm not on Charm, so let me honestly just go ahead and, um... Let me just, is it male? Yeah, okay, this is good, dude. Male, fairy A group is a good A group. This is a good price check. Male, fairy. Um, nah, I don't know what fairy Pokemon are. Any fairy Pokemon? Can anybody name any fairy Pokemon that would need both attacks? I can't think of any. 
that would need physical and special. Maybe Pikachu, but it's kind of a stretch. Jigglypuff is a balloon. I brought this for my cop Chansey, but it real relaxed. Wait, wait, wait. Um, you, I mean, obviously bold is better, but it even depends. You could totally, unless someone could correct me. Um, you could totally use relaxed on Chansey. I personally, now this becomes personal preference. It depends on what you want your Chansey to be able to do. And what you're, if you have teleport on your Chansey, I'm a huge fan. This is the Chansey. Ah, it's already relaxed nature. I see what you're saying. Oh, what what are you trying to? So are you trying to? Did you just already finish it, or are you trying to? Uh, I have to correct the move set. Gotcha. Think I gotcha. I have that meme where it's like, oh yeah, I understand, but I just don't understand. Uh, yo, what's up, Louie? Thank you so much, dude. I'm trying to figure out like. I don't know therapy two is an egg move. Gotcha. So your chance is just like done, right? Like that, that's why you don't need to breed it, because it's just like done, I assume is the meme. Even we'll see Nick's Roserade. I don't know if any of those are like super viable though. Pikachu is the main one that I can think of. Yeah, your chance is just done. Okay, I, I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Shining Slowbro. Slowbro is a absolutely phenomenal first shiny. Times five horde near a PC. You don't need lepas. Just absolutely S tier. Like any, I I really recommend like any times five horde near a PC spot for for beat. Like it's it's just the it's just fun. It's good fun. It's challenging. It's it's a good, the great. You should always. You should, I think everybody should start their first shiny hunt. Times five horde near a PC. No lepas. Alrighty. Let me actually just you're, you're just selling this off as an extra. Let me let me properly. Shouldn't shit ninja? Yeah, is your new thing. Uh, dude, I'm always I'm always honored to hear it, Zachar. I know that that's how I operate, dude. I get sucked in. I try to offer content that I know that I would enjoy. Like, I get sucked into games, right? I get sucked into retro video game collecting. Or recently, I've been kind of getting sucked into Dota 2 a little bit. Like, I, whenever I get sucked into games, I'm looking for that content creator or, like, to be surrounded by. Like, I'm fucking queuing up Dota games while, like playing while like uh listening to like stuff in the background listening to guides and like i think that's i really enjoy that right um so i try to be that for other people for pokemon dude i get that that lifestyle uh palacros thank you for the sub dude sorry about that man yes i sent joshua joshua clarko in chat is the guy who owns that salamance if you have any questions for him um yes i sent i sent joshua the screenshots if you remember if you have any stories about that salamance Benny Laron is so sick. Oh, for nine tails. Oh shit, Josh. Nice. I appreciate it, Zach. Very nice of you, dude. How's that advanced runner going? The team is built, dude. I have to just practice the route at some point. Okay. I'm gonna I can only finish this very jiggly puff though, dude. Getting distract or renoed. I mean, worst case scenario, you just like you just list it for like 1.2. Like like I I, or I guess you would go like ooh, nah, not you wouldn't, right? It's being, oh, these are dittos. Huh. Relax in nature. This is 700. You would not grow 1.2 on 2 mil on this. Don't let me fucking, don't let me fool you. Um, what do you grow? Do you just go like... cheapest not comparable do you just go like 700 or like six 600 650 this has nature and that's why okay I, I i feel like 650 might be the way let's see is ign clarko's ign is c it's not with an l it's like c i a it's clarko with an i instead of the l so c i a r k KO, I think. Crystal so quick, quick sell for 5k. That's my official advice. Yeah. Um. I would probably list this for 650k. I, I don't know if it I'm gonna be honest and say I don't know if it'll sell, slash if it'll sell within that time. Why bring Wiggly? I mean, I'm not. He was breeding as a breeder, which is good. This is a good breeder. You I, I like what you did. I like that you bred this. It's a good breeder and 
Turn price check. Yeah, well, that's why it's a good. It's a good thing. Another, th I will say, maybe I'm dumb. I will price check things based on how much I spent on them. It's not always the right thing to do, but it's definitely something I do. Um, I would do. I would try between like six fifty. I think I would do six fifty, but that it, it might be a tough sell at that point. But I think it's fine. I I would I would go six fifty and sit on it. Uh, worst case scenario, you lower it to like five fifty. How much did you? How much did it cost to make? Do you know? Do you remember? I do try to like. I'll price things based on how much they cost to make sure I get enough of a profit. It's kind of silly, but it makes me feel better. Put them on stock exchange. Gotcha. I, okay, you'll profit slash break even no matter what. I feel like. I would go six four. Final answer. I would go six four nine nine. There's a couple things on the market that were at that 650. So I would just, I would go 6499, final answer. It's really nice. Like, undercutting my one Pokey in like that is just so good sometimes. All right. Hopefully that helps you, Proven. Hopefully that helps, dude. Best of luck to you, dude. Nerge, I would go for, yeah. Nerge. Um, actually, this is the price that I would shed it for. Real, actually, real voice. You want to quick sell it? True. Yeah, dude, I have to. I have to learn the route. So for yeah, just nine nine. True. Actually, I I added an extra nine. Just sell it for sixty five k. The quick snipes will go crazy. True and real. Yeah, fairy types are pretty good. Pretty good, like egg group though. <laughs> like fairy types, pretty good. Just, just Chansey alone, controlling. Also, like males in the fairy type, because Chansey blisses will all be always be female. Like so, like yeah, that's basically like males will males in the fairy egg group will always be worth something. <clears throat> Killed a shiny me out by mistake. It's kind of hard to do that, man. The game, if you try to attack a shiny, the game will give you a warning. Like it's pretty, it's pretty hard. Like. If you encounter a shiny and you try to kill it, there, firstly, there's a huge sound effect. Secondly, the name lights up like shiny Meowth in all caps. Thirdly, if you try to run from it, the game will give you a confirmation warning of, are you sure you want to run from a shiny? Yes or no. And then if you try to attack the Pokemon, it'll say, are you sure you want to kill a shiny? Yes or no. You, ha you have to fuck up really hard to like, like nowadays. That wasn't always the case, but you have to fuck up pretty hard. I mean, if that actually happened, I'm really sorry. That's super sad to hear. It happens. It does, dude. I want to gamble my channel points? I got you, dude. Alrighty. For anyone looking to gamble, I'm going to start a gamble. Start a prediction. Shiny today. Yes or no. Make your bets. Make your bets. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Place your bets. There it is. There it is. There it is. Stamba, yeah, time for a good old Stamba. Time to, time to lose the rent for the month <laughs> on uh, Petrowski's channel points. True and real. Alpha King Lercanto, appreciate the call as always, dude. It's always good to call that stuff in chat, just in case people want to go see it. Check it out. Look, like it's gonna be today. I call it cap. Can we change the Gamba to shiny today cap or no cap? I guess what's the... So That's like confusing. I don't even know if I understand. Oh god. That's awesome. Cap or... or no, no, no. The, the things would be... um. It would be... The two options would be shiny today. And the yes would be on god question mark. And then and the, and the no would be cap. That's kind of genius. That's kind of genius. Get it twisted. Gamble. Please start gambling. Gambling is an investment. <laughs> you will profit. You will win. True and real. Your average, your average, uh, TikTok ad. Actually real. What are you shunning? This spot has four rares. Uh, Breloom, Mr. Mime, Scyther, and Sudowoodo. Any of those would be incredible. Any, any of those would be incredible. What if the S was no cap? Yeah, it's just so funny. Um, do you consider Ponyard as a rare shiny? This is a great question. Shiny 
classifications are strange in Pokemon because like no one calls something an uncommon shiny, which we probably should, you know? Pondered is Pondered is what would be an uncommon shiny. Like Pondered is just like it's a single encounter hunt, right? The most optimal way to shiny hunt Ponyard is to single encounter. It's a common rarity, but you still have to single encounter for it, which is pretty tough. You could you get a couple fails on average on the way to it. Um, it's like a tough hunt. Like a single encounter hunt with multiple fails is a is a is a tough hunt. Uh, you aren't on lore though. Yo, thanks for the reminder. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, Ponyard. It's not a rare. Usually rare and entails that. Usually rare entails that. It's rare in the wild, like or or lore rarity. And usually ra a rare, quote unquote, rare shiny is one that if you just wanted to get that shiny, the optimal way of doing it would be to eight hunt it. That's that's kind of like usually what it comes down to. So like, for example, if you wanted a shiny Charmander, the best way to go for it generally is just to like eight hunt it. Uh, you wouldn't actually like go single encounter for it. You can, and like it's it's a good meme, but generally people just eight hunt for something like a shiny Charizard. Pulled like your seventh ghostly lantern. You just pulled like your seventh ghostly lantern on a whim though. So, uh, what'd you spend like 20 mil on, on sealed product and maybe get like seven, 14 mil back? Ghostly lantern, dude. What a, what a tough, what a tough vanity. Boy is out here fighting for his life. I might, do I have one? I might pick one up at some point just because, I mean, it's a cheap ultra rare. Um, but even then, like, do I have one? Oh, I do actually already have one. I didn't even know that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but then what's what's the other one? The uh, psychic training helmet is the other ultra rare that's like super cheap. It's just I don't know. I think I think there was just a lot of there's not that many like quantity wise on the G there's 23. I think that there's just no demand for it for whatever reason. There's just no demand for this vanity. It's kind of interesting. It's just not really wanted. I feel like this could be like, this to me streams like Lyle 2.0. You know how Lyle used to always wear those, um, the like master cheat, this, the like master, the green motor, motor, that was like their, that was their look. It's hard to match with anything. I could see that. I could see a team, like one really good PVP team or one really good team, like picking up this vanity and like taking it over as like the, the one. It's kind of ugly. I think this looks awesome, but it's very overpowering so you do have to match it with other stuff um but i think this is just cooler than the motorcycle helmet i don't know man i think it's i think it's an underrated vanity but apparently nobody else thinks so and if nobody else thinks so i mean you know what's my one little opinion in the term of the, you know, the market it doesn't mean shit right like just because i personally like them doesn't mean it's a it's a good investment or like a good yeah it's based off of the 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 mewtwo armor 100 percent. i think it's cool dude lucky reds are just burning money dude Oof, yeah color coordinated motorcycle helmets yeah i like it was always cool i feel like i feel like teams i feel like teams nowadays don't really do that they don't really do like a coordinated vanity i guess because they want to show off with like electric storms and ghost outfits and flaming you know skull heads which like you can't really get those for everybody on a team it made sense but like back in the day there were certain teams that would wear, wear like the hero hat like there were certain teams who like everybody wore the hero hat which i i'm not a fan of this hat personally I think I probably have one. Let me, uh... It's like a Pokemon vanity. I think I have... What's it called? Is it not called that? Hero hat? What am I thinking of? Am I thinking of something else? Like a guardian hat or something. I feel like I... Yeah, this. The, the, yeah, yes, guardian hat. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. Like, there was, like, a certain team who would wear, like, these and these only. And there was a certain team that would only wear the, the motorcycle helmet. And, like, I think it's... There was, I think there was definitely some witch hat teams at certain points. It's kind of interesting to have a team coordinated vanity, but you don't really see it nowadays. Any other fashion show? Yes. I need to schedule. I just do that on stream today, honestly. We'll probably do that. Schedule a fashion contest plus a uh, shiny rating. That'd be fun. Dude, nice, CZ. That's always huge, man. Uh, yes, it should still work, Arthur. The only reason I thought it didn't work is because um, I tried to rare candy a Pokemon that evolves via a dust stone, <laughs> like a moron in my in my what's it called video, but it should still work, dude. I tried to rare candy a level 100 Lampant, and I was like, oh man, like did they they must have patched it? Why why do, why can't it evolve into Chandelure? Huh, that's strange. That's weird. That's peculiar. 
It's because I'm an idiot and didn't know you just need, yeah. Oh, webcam. I'm just not in my place, dude. I'll bring the webcam back when I can, dude. I'll bring the. I always. Uh, I always have the webcam on just for days where I get shinies. So I all. You know, I just kind of wait whenever I know I'm gonna get a shiny that day, and then I'll just use webcam. True and real. Uh, where I want to hatch, edge hatch, and have new Pokemon for Jimmy Runs to level up. So what should I do in order? Wait, I'm at a position right now where I want to edge hatch and have new Pokemon for Jimmy Runs to level up. So what should I do in order? I don't know if I understand the question, Lane. I'm gonna be honest. If you could rephrase that, I'd appreciate it. Apologies. Uh, yeah, true and real. Yeah, I do, I do webcam streams whenever I can. I just I'm, when I'm never when I'm not at my I travel back and forth between my place and my girlfriend's place that my fiance is at the moment. Um. We're gonna be moving in together in July, and that'll make it that'll make it a lot easier and make webcam streams more common, much more common. Waiting for the hair to grow back, dude. I need a haircut so bad; it's stupid long right now. Always honored to hear it, Charles. I really appreciate the like you enjoying the videos and them being helpful. That's awesome enough for you to take the time just to come into stream, just to say something nice. No benefit to you. Really above and beyond, man. I really appreciate that. Um. Do you prefer Shiny Litwick or Chandelure? This is such a good question. Uh, going for Litwick right now, but debating whether to evolve it or not. I prefer Chandelure, but they're, yeah, they're both incredible. I might go for both. That's something, I might go for two to have, uh, they're both incredible, dude. Um, 100%. That's, that's a tough one, dude. Uh, I will pass, Taiki. Thank you, though. Uh, what should I do? Like, I have an egg hatching. I want to sequence what I should do in order. Like, I have an egg hatching and knows and Mons level up and I'm feeling bored. So you're saying you, an egg hatch takes like five minutes. You could just wait. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't know if I understand, dude. An egg hatch takes like five minutes. You just AFK. You want to go XP train, you're saying? I, I don't know if I understand your dilemma. No shiny guys on webcam? True. Wait, that's actually kind of real. So in from the chandelier, good meme. Chandelier. Third one, speed third one attack, adamant, uh, king or female. Wait, what's wrong with that, sim killer? I feel like that's pretty good. If you're, it could be a lot. If you're gonna, if you're, that's pretty good, man. That's the two most important stats. Fantastic nature. What do you mean your luck's bad, dude? Come on. That's like, you know, you could have got a 31 special attack. I don't PvP. Hey, but you sell it, dude. What's wrong with that? Female sells for a little lower. It's dudes, but you know, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that stolen valor is all hell, dude. You can't get the two most important 31 stats on a Pokemon and be like, oh, my luck is so bad. Plus nature. Come on, man. That, come on. If you got 31 special attack, 31, you know, defense. Or 31, 31 uh, special attack, 31, you know, special attack. Special fuck. 31 special attack, 31 special defense. Fair enough, right? Um. But like, I'm pretty sure Kingler. That's like a bomb Kingler. That's a really good catch, dude. Hey, glass half full, not glass half empty, fellas. Mon What's up, monkey? Yeah, plus you could breed it if you want to. That's a, that's a really good Kingler, man. Uh, English people, are English people, when are stressed, they eat sweet stuff. And why they always eat sweet stuff? Because stress is backwards in dessert. Cap <laughs> are you good? What's up? Uh, super gamma is 30k. <laughs> Fuck, how do you... You're trying to gamba over 250k, Rumel? You're a madman. That's actually crazy. How does Rome change its forms? You have to go to some like specific location in Sinnoh. There should be a guide on it. If you Google like how to change Rotom forms, Pokemon, there's definitely a video on it. I don't know if I have one. There is, there is. I think is it empty Birchfield? Someone has a good video on it. Sheer Force Kingler. Yeah, Sheer Force Kingler is interesting. I, I hope it can get some use. Dude, nice job, Solomon. Randoms is so fun, dude. It's so... There's obviously some games that are, like, kind of just lost and super frustrating. If you ever get into a game... Here's a tip in randoms, okay? Hey, randoms PvP is super fun. Uh, you played your first ranked PvP game of Pokemon yesterday ever. Played randoms and you won. Nice job, Solomon. Always happy to hear it. Randoms is super fun. It's a great way to get into PvP. You are going to have frustrating games in randoms, and that definitely just happens sometimes with, like, bad teams or whatever. I always say that, in my opinion, from my experience playing randoms, like one out of there's like two out of ten games you can't really control. But it's the but the RNG isn't as bad as people think. There's a lot of skill in randoms. I would say like one out of every ten games, on average, um, is just like unwinnable. Like your team is so bad. 
unless you make some crazy plays, which everything is te technically winnable, right? And then like one out of 10 games is like unlosable. Your team's so powerful unless you like throw like and just keep those that in mind and like be okay with that. If you go into a randoms game and you realize like, oh shit, my team is really bad. Playing around that is a skill. So let's say um, a good example of this is like, let's say your Pokemon, your team is like Gorobis, Love Disc, um, dude, I don't know, like, like uh, a bunch of shit Pokemon, right? Sun, Sun Floor, Sun Floor actually can go hard in randoms to be fair. A bunch of bad Pokemon, but then you have like, you have like five dog shit Pokemon, and then you have like a Linoon in the back with Belly Drum, right? That game is winnable as fuck, right? Because, because Linoon is one of those Pokemon that can just, if you position it correctly and play it correctly, you can just hard sweep and hard win from behind. Um, Sun Floor can go hard as hell actually in randoms. Um, so what happens is if you have, thank you for the raid, Hokey. I appreciate that, dude. If you have a line noon on your randoms team and all of them are bad, you should try to bring in that line noon as late as possible. Not like, not necessarily the last Pokemon. You don't want to like wait until at the very end and never have like a play around or a switch or whatever. But what you want to do is you want to like take care of any, pri look out for priority fighting types, look out for any Pokemon like Lucario, look out for mock punches, take care of stuff that can... Or any ghost types, like, take care of the Pokemon that counter. I've seen all these donations on Twitter. Thank you guys so much. What the hell? Um, take care of the Pokemon that answer that Pokemon, and then you can save it and bring it at the end and, like, really do, like, a counter sweep. Uh, there are ways to, like, win with a bad team at randoms. Absolutely. And it's okay to, like, play more aggressively or make greedier predictions in a randoms game where you're, like, from, if you're already behind, right? Um, or if your team is, is really, truly poor. But analyzing whether your team is truly poor versus they just, a lot of Pokemon in randoms seem weak on the surface level, but then their level is so high to compensate, they're actually really strong. A good example of that is, like, Sunflora. Sunflora can actually be so powerful in randoms because uh, its level is so high. Let's see some, like, randoms stats, for example. Like, Roselia, look at this. Roselia has a really high win rate. You wouldn't think it was like a powerful Pokemon, but you know, level 82. What's like one of the highest level mons we see? Flareon, level 83. Tangela is huge. It looks like Dunsparce, good win rate, level 83. We see a lot of these guys. Level 85 for X Bloud kind of goes hard. Can be hard to answer. Can do a lot of damage if you just spam like Hyper Voice or like a spammable move. 82 on Stantler. Cool to see, dude. Randoms is fun, dude. Definitely try it out. Uh, dude. Okay, well, Grips. Thank you for the $5. God damn. And Hokey, thank you for the four, the rate of 14, guys. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, your day's been fantastic. Hopefully, my content's earned that from you, Grips. And hopefully, you had a fantastic stream, Hokey. What's up, dude? Swallow eats Wurmple. It makes sense. It's harsh, but it makes sense. Could be a bad matchup though. It, yeah, what, like I just said, uh, one out of every ten games I would say are are you're hard behind, and one out of every ten games you're hard ahead, and you just try to like win those eight games that are that are, and try to take it take from behind where you can. So should we not level to a hundred? No, 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 no. That's not. Wait, wait, Evan. Wait, wait, Evan, 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 Evan. You're on the wrong the the wrong train. Um, in PvP. There's a difference between constructed PvP, Evan, and randoms, right? Randoms, the Pokemon, the team are given to you. They're all sub you don't you don't bring in any of your own Pokemon. You don't level any of your Pokemon. In randoms, the Pokemon are all supplied to you. Uh true and real Solomon. Um that's a huge difference. Um for PvP, you only level 50 on Pokemon though. You don't you don't even need level 100s for PvP. You only need 50 50 for PvP. Um, obviously, some of them need like like Tyranitar and Dragonite need 55 for their evolution. You'll scale them down, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In randoms, your Pokemon are provided to you. That's important. Um, we have no information on what Wishing Stone is for yet. Devs have not done anything with it, Grips. Uh, I appreciate it, Gavin. Dude, it is totally. It would be the most pokey MMO developer thing to just never do anything with Wishing Stone. Unironically, it would not surprise me. I know that that sounds fucked up, and it kind of is. I mean, it definitely is, but it would not surprise me. <clears throat> you find easier a shiny villager mod? I mean, objectively, it's not true. Like, statistically, it's not true, right, Typhlosion? Because um, legendaries are somewhere between 1 out of 1k to 1 out of 8k, and shinies are 1 out of 30k. And even if you do, like, times 5 hordes or whatever versus single encounters, it's still, like, way faster to do. It's always, shinies are always harder, objectively, but I get the meme, dude. I, I obviously you're memeing. Obviously, you're speaking from your personal experience. 
or shiny Solar Articuno, but but that's that's a shooting star. Like, like that's that's like an astronomically rare thing to happen, right? You're quoting very very niche. You're quoting outliers and being like, oh, this is the case because of these extreme outliers, right? Bunch is not yet implemented. It's a raid item. Copium, copium, copium. Yo, thank you so much for the for the Twitch Prime. Nike, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, dude. The underscore, the underscore. Thank you, dude. Legendaries are easy. <laughs> yeah, shinies, shinies are just objectively rarer for sure. But I get the memes, dude. I get the memes. If, if the Twitch saw the Twitch Prime into the follow afterwards is is very based, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Wishing so an OP for raids. We'll see, man. We'll see what it does. Sub first, follow later, Giga Badoof. It's a very Giga Badoof thing to do. Very Giga Badoof. Alpha Canto. I, yeah, it was called a bit ago, Justin. I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I appreciate it, though. Calls are always good to chat for chat, you know? How to get Heat Rotom. If you Google how to change Rotom forms, Pokemon, there's a, there's a YouTube video on it, man. You have to go to a specific location within Sinnoh and pay like 15k Pokemon or something. Hey, dude, I it means the world to me, Nike, so I appreciate you taking that time, dude. Imagine you get a Shalfa. That's always the dream, dude. It's always the dream. I for Jirachi. We'll see. I feel like that's the most common speculated thing. Is that Wishing Stone ends up being for Jirachi? We shall see. We shall see. <coughs> What's that your alphas? If you Google uh, alpha Pokemon explained Pokemon, there, I have a video on it. If you look like, like alpha swarms explained, I have multiple videos on the topic. I always say, and it's a good question. You know, it's it's such a like, usually the example I give of like, oh, like how players should play Pokemon is like, play the game like you would any Pokemon game. And then whenever you find a term that you don't know, like alpha Pokemon, just Google it. Uh, we're really lucky. Like we we live in a day and an age where you can Google questions about Pokemon and find an immediate answer for, for most things, right? Um, for nine years out of 11 years of this game's history, you could not do that. Like it was impossible. You'd have to Google a question, find a forum post vaguely relating to it, and then browse, browse through that thread for three hours and maybe you'd find your answer. It was so fucking hard. Uh, Xanarchy. What is up, man? Thank you for the raid, dude. Much love to you, dude. Hopefully you're doing well. Appreciate it, appreciate it, dude. First ball. Always happy to hear it, dude. Nice, nice, nice. Shalfa, Shalfa Electrode on GTL. I'll check out that. It's probably a beautiful Shalfa, dude. Dude, it having the... That looks... Okay, I usually don't like particle effect. It's wild caught. Pretty, it's pretty crazy for a while. Wild Caught. What's the nature? Yeah. Um, this is this looks kind of clean. I'm not usually okay. Okay, I'm not usually a huge fan of particle effect on shiny Pokemon. It's just a personal preference. A lot of people like to collect them. This looks kind of clean. I actually kind of like this. The rising star, because it looks like an extra little shiny symbol. That actually looks really good in my opinion. The rising star specifically. That that's that's a cool particle effect on it. I actually like that. That like the double we'll star on top right, star on bottom left actually a pretty clean little addition not a fan of particle effects on shinies usually i think it looks kind of clunky that is pretty nice uh, how do you get the damage percent to show in your chat box yes it's an in-game setting i can show you really i have a video on it if you look up like top three settings to change in pokemon i do go over it uh, but if we go over to let's just see if i can find it really quick uh, interface, I'm gonna guess. Yep, enter. So settings in game, interface, show battle damage percents, put it to always. It's by default only on PvP. Uh, but if you're playing a Nuzlocke, or even if you're just like me and you just like the extra numbers, you like seeing the extra statistics to see your damage rolls, um, I love that stuff. I think it's super important for just extra knowledge. Yeah, you put that setting on really easily. Look at the wrong page. It's, it's easy to not be able to find, dude. I get it. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, Justin. 
why aren't spindas different it is yeah it is, so it is a weird thing um spindas don't have different like little spot patterns in pokemon which is interesting oh i don't know if it does i'll have to go check sim at some point remind me when i'm off charm thank you for the i didn't even fucking say thank you yet yo remaru thank you for the invite to the link just casually and thank you for the charm man i really appreciate it hopefully you have some good shiny luck today with it dude good luck to you man <clears throat> That one? I'm not gonna lie, Justin. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a grumpy boomer. That sounds so annoying to me. The idea of <laughs> encountering Pokemon and like Rosalia, like, like that would annoy the fuck out of me. <laughs> that would actually be, I would actually get so sick of that so fast. Holy shit, that is not for me. I'm sorry. That would actually be so annoying. I'd rather, I'd rather just have no, yeah, I'd. Honestly, the less sounds in Pokemon, the better. I'm just trying to hear the shiny sound. That's all I care about. I fuck a lot. Dude, I respect it. I feel like if that's like a fun... It's a fun thing, but I feel like uh, there's a mod that... Yes, there's a mod that turns off all sounds except for the shiny sound, which is actually so good. I respect it, man. I respect it. I get it, right? Um, Mute mod OP, yeah. If I was like going for fun, casual, like just it's like memes or whatever, but like the amount of grinding, I feel like after grinding for a bit, you'd be like, ugh, you know? I feel like it would get old. A victory battle just screams, yeah. Mute MMO the goat. I like that Nokia ringtone. That's perfect, dude. That's what I'm here for. Maybe I'm just too old. Turning 26 this year, boys. Whew. Mike muted. More like your mom is muted, okay? Nice try, Tom. Nice try, dude. <laughs> Good one, dude. Nice try. Oof. What's my my bachelor party's coming up in the next month or so? It's crazy. I think was, my bachelor party is like a month away. It's gonna be like April. Is it April 19th or some shit? I think April no 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 no. That's a Tuesday. That makes no sense. I think it's I think my bachelor party is gonna be the 22nd to like the 24th. Something like that. And then uh and then my birthday is on the 29th. That'll be late April is gonna be crazy, dude. Uh, my, my birthday is April 29th. Still like a month and a half out. <laughs> that would be that would be pretty harsh, Dave. <laughs> that would be much less funny of a joke. I would uh I would be writing the Twitter apology as we speak, dude. No Gamba. Gamba should be up and running. Gamba should be I think you have five minutes left to to, to predict. My interface is glitched. The Twitch chat interface is a little wonky. Yeah. You got if you, if you haven't gambled yet, guys, you got five minutes. You got five Minandorinos. April birthdays? Okay. Obviously, I'm biased, but I'm just saying April birthdays are the best. April April is clearly just the best month. True and real. Got April Fool's Day. I need to figure out an April Fool's Day video. I haven't figured that out, that out yet. Um, two years ago, I put out an April Fool's Day video that tanked my algorithm. Because <laughs> it... <laughs> You can go find that. I think it, t it tanked my algorithm for like two. I was like fucked for like two to four weeks because it was uh, <laughs> not advertiser friendly. It was a good meme. Okay, I'm proud of that one. It was worth it. You were really on the house shiny because the three spots of noise with the swords are so much better. Yeah, it's a bit of personal preference. I, I aggressively prefer the pixel sprites. I'm with you. Uh, but some people prefer the 3D. And I think it's fair, you know. I'm happy that uh, people can choose, pick and choose in Pokemon. I'm April 30th, dude, based. I, the girl, the, dude, fuck. Is Casey watching? I don't, she, I think, I should be, she, I, it's fine, obviously, but I'm just memeing. Um, the girl who I had my first kiss with, one, one of my earlier girlfriends in my life, we, we shared the same exact birthday. I mean, she was born, like, she was, like, a year or two older than me, but we were both born on April 29th, which was very funny. So if we would have, you know, I've had some funny, yeah, some funny relationship coincidences like that interesting what's up monkey what's up dude let joel gamble away the family house based i was asking for trouble it was a it was a meme it was quite the meme fuck that's that is that's funny clarko wow exactly six months apart yeah That's cool. Casey's a February birthday. She's what? February. 
16th yes I, I always okay i always almost forget because it's like this okay we have our anniversary on july 12th which is also gonna be our wedding date which is lined up fucking perfectly we have yeah so we have our anniversary on july 12th valentine's day on february 14th and then her birthday on february 16th so for, to me i don't know why i associate it was like two two days apart i just i keep that in mind cooter season Hey, Casey's, what, three years older than me? That was always a huge meme of, like, uh... Dude, one of the first, like... I went out to dinner with Casey and some of her friends, and she was like, yeah, she's, like, three years older than me. All of her friends were, oh, like, cougar. Which is, it's very funny. Like, three years is, like, not that crazy. But that was the joke. It was, it's, I don't know. It was a good meme. Oh, my God, Dimitri. Okay, Jesus, dude. That's, uh, that's a good meme. That's a good joke to throw out at parties. That's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, you can use sweets and summon hordes of Pokemon, but you can't get rare shinies via like hordes will only summon certain Pokemon. Um, so you can't get like, if, if I want a rare shiny, if I want a Mr. Mime, a Breloom, a Scyther, you know, a Sudowoodo here, I can't hoard, even though it's faster, you can't get those Pokemon. Shut up, Gavin. Good meme. Good meme. Um, how do I solve my Pokemon spending addiction? Hey, Pat, how do I solve my Pokemon spending addiction? I'm like, oh, let me see. I'm like, oh my God, what a deal. I'll sell it later, but I never sell it. This is something that uh, I've had a friend who had a similar situation. And unironically, my best advice, quit the game. No, no, no. My best advice to this is instead of spending your money on like little Pokemon and little things here and there, spend it on investments and then send those investments to an alt account. So every time you have the urge to spend money, Go buy like red, like lucky red envelopes or anniversary chests or buy some sort of sealed product and then send that sealed product to an alt account so you can't access it, right? That's my best advice. Um, that's that's yeah, don't spend, don't open the sealed product. That just that's the ruins the whole point. It's kind of like uh, if you have a spending problem IRL, um, just fucking put that put money into like. Instead of spending on other stuff, just, it sounds dumb, but like put it into like investments, like actual stocks, and then just like delete the app or some shit every time you do that. I don't know, so, something like that. Like just forget about it. That's like un the best way that I, in my opinion, that I found to like deal with something like that and put that physical barrier. And then when you have that physical barrier, eventually the patterns, the mental stuff will come eventually. Put your savings on an alt account, forget the password based. <clears throat> Uh, how do you keep going? My real answer, I'm just really good at fucking grinding nowadays, dude. Like, I don't have, like, a... I don't have, like, a... Learning grinding isn't, like, a... There's nothing I can teach you about that. It's really just, like, pushing through. And then once you learn to grind, you have that skill. Grinding is just a skill that you have to, like, hone and develop. And you have to be able to push through when you don't want to do something. That's really it. I don't have my company. It's a fr <laughs> shut up, bro, uh, Jax. Yeah, mailing to it. It's 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 actually and my I feel like it's actually good, JW. Like, dude, I wait. So I don't even have that problem, right? I don't even have JWP is here. I don't even have that problem of like you know overspending and whatever, right? But I logged on to an account the other day. And realized I had like an extra 350 anniversary chests I totally forgot about. So I logged onto an account just to find out I just have extra fucking memes, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I've been watching pretty aggressively. Subcular. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm a finance channel and not that I'm a finance guy. I'm never here to give finance advice. Um, but I have about... I have a bunch of money in Shibu right now. <laughs> dude, I'm on the meme coin train. I said, dude, I'm not going to lie. I 100% when Do I, mean, I was like, how old was I when this happened? When Dogecoin hit like uh, when Dogecoin hit 1 cent, everybody was like, what the fuck? No way. And I was like, dude, of course. Like at the time, then you have Doge. I'd sell in and out all the time. Um my whole thing was like, dude, memes have power. Like meme coin sounds dumb, but like memes carry so much social impact it's pretty impressive like it's like jokes and comedy and humor like memes are fucking it's the same it sounds dumb but it's the same thing as like uh like the fucking mona like art right like the mona lisa like these things are like 
they carry cultural value. Like people, t even though they have no like real utility, right? Like memes make people happy. It seems dumb, but I totally understand how meme coins and stuff like that becomes becomes a real legitimate thing. And I've been saying that ever since like before Dogecoin hit a penny. I was like, yeah, I think it's just gonna continue to go up. Why, you know, why not? Right? Like it's memes have power. It's dumb, but and at what rates and when when will it go down when will it go up that's way more complicated obviously i don't fucking know um no i'm never doing i'm never doing there's way too many people on the internet who do finance channels who just like i i'm, I'm not here for that dude <clears throat> it's just there's way too many people in that space who have a sense of confidence and just talk out of their ass and just like it's just yeah it's just i don't like it man don't like that space Well, all into, okay, shut up, Dizzle. God damn it. Shut up. Get out of here. Shut up. Just don't do the the real the real I mean, yeah. Got a Pokemon channel? Yeah, I'm I I could like maybe offer some information for that for that game, yeah, kind of true. Uh, what a nice guy. Just don't listen to all the boring advice. All the boring advice is, is true, right? Go invest in boring stable stocks. Go invest in and in go invest in index funds, funds. Like Go do all the board. Go match your 401k and fucking Roth IRA. Like, finance is boring. Like, that's that's the the truth of it is, is it's actually really boring. And you should just do all the boring shit. Like, get out of debt, you know, forehead. It's all, it's boring. I just play my Pokemon. Yeah, I play a little bit, dude. I play a little bit. I believe that there's a Pokemon that I called Pokemon Pokemon last one. I mean, you, I mean, you kind of, I mean, Admiral, you kind of do that with like sealed product. Like, there kind of is, like, like, yeah, if you, yeah. I have to listen to you on two channels already. Spare me a third. That's such a good line. Fuck, that's awesome. Tax evasion, god damn it. Um. Dropping Fortnite content when? Never. I respect it. Okay, I will say I'll stay. I'll be the Lorax for Fortnite, dude. I'll speak for the for the for the Zoomers, man. Um, Fortnite's probably a really Fortnite. Okay, it's easy to dick on Fortnite. It seems meme -y, All the stupid fucking dances. Um, all the dumb collaborations that are insane cash grabs. But like, when you zoom out and you try to look at Fortnite from a positive perspective, it makes total sense. It was one of the first games to like actually build a virtual world. And this is for someone who doesn't hasn't really played much Fortnite, but like. It revolutionized Battle Royale. They have like a fucking like arcade racer on that game now. There's like, f there's like, people don't realize like Fortnite has a million different game modes. They're like one of the first things to like successfully do like virtual concerts and for them to be like fun. Like, like Fortnite kind of took over like VR, like fuck VR. Like people just prefer to like do all the, they do all the VR shit, but in Fortnite, like, um, I don't know. Like if, as, as much you can, you can meme on Fortnite all day, but like it actually has progressed gaming a shit ton and done a lot. Um, and it should be respected probably. I feel like it's gonna be um, I feel like Fortnite is the same It's having the same uh, Path as Minecraft right where Minecraft came out And it was fucking incredible and then a bunch of kids started playing Minecraft and it was viewed as like that dumb little kid game and Fortnite it's currently in that like dumb little kid game arc and then but after a while People come back to Minecraft and like oh, yeah, the game's just fucking good. It's, it's not a dumb little It's actually just a good game, right? Um, no, I don't play Fortnite much, but I feel like from the outside, this is like how I kind of, this is how I kind of see. Um. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Fair enough, Evan. I, I don't fucking know, man. That's kind of, maybe I just have more of a positive perspective, uh, naively. I don't know, dude. Um. That's so cool, fairy. And there's Naruto shooting back. What the fuck? What are you on about, soul? What's up, dude? Moving the OG map. I have I have actually talked about this before on my stream. I don't know if you ever heard me talk about the Sim Killer. The original Fortnite map, like the OG map without all of the fucking additions and Spider-Man webs and all the... There's just too much shit. The original map was actually such a goddamn piece of like genius design. Like if you look at the river and the way it splits the map down like that diagonal path and the positioning of like Tilted Towers and the fucking burger place, like... It's it's actually like the most beautifully it's it's probably the most beautiful balanced map that I've ever seen in gaming. It's actually crazy. Like it's actually the, the most balanced incredible map I've ever seen. It's it's 
yeah, it's it's such a goddamn good map design. And I'm glad that people are finally coming around to that and seeing that. Like, it's it's ridiculous, dude. It's it's such a beautifully designed map. It's so good. And, like, it's crazy how much a good map design carries a battle royale. Like, a balanced map can carry a battle royale so hard. Um, I believe <laughs> Fortnite, dude, fuck. And it's, like, I don't, dude, I probably played, like, less than 100 hours of fortnite i don't i didn't play very much i don't have much of a take on it like but outside looking in there's some there's some there's some beauty there i don't know i get it man Ugh. i think that's fair admiral i, I literally don't know yeah i literally don't know some killer 700 yeah dude that's Hey, that's chancy for you, Claude. Congrats on the level, the leveling, dude. Oh yeah, that's yeah, and like that's okay. If you want to dick on Fortnite for all the collaborations, dude, be my guest. I'm currently in the, I'm currently in the trenches, dicking on Magic the Gathering for all the cringe. I I I hate. Is it called Beyond the? What is it? Beyond the season? Beyond the? Beyond the Magic the Gathering? What's it called? Beyond, beyond the multiverse? Is that really what it's called? Universes beyond? All of that shit is cringe. I, I absolutely vehemently hate all of the uh, collaboration stuff with Magic the Gathering. I think it's such a goddamn cash grab. It's so cringe. Um, at the same time, I, part of me really wants some of those Fallout cards, dude. I, I get, I'm probably, I'm gonna main, I'm gonna not buy them. I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna restrain myself. Um, like, but at the same time, part of me knows that if they put out like Skyrim, if if they did like a Skyrim Magic the Gathering crossover, I might have, I might have to bite, you know. Like that's I fucking hate I hate it, dude. I hate that that's like the meta right now is collaborations. Collaborations feels like the most low effort like cash grabby money stuff ever. It's so yeah. I feel like dude, remember back in um, dude, I'm so boomer. Holy shit. Back in my day, Keck W. But remember like back in like 2008, right? Everybody was like, dude. Do you think Naruto could beat Goku in a fight? Like, who who would win in a fight? Like, Goku or Piccolo or Goku or fucking, uh, fucking Light Yagami from Death Note? Like, who would win in a fight or whatever, right? And like, yeah, exa exactly, Soul. Um, and now we just we just have that. Now, now, all of the companies saw us doing the like cross to pair, and they were like, oh, we should just make money off that, and they finally did it. And now we're all like, wait, go back, <laughs> wait a minute, I don't actually, wait a minute, I don't actually care, wait. Please, it was cool because it wasn't a thing. Please go back. Ugh, it's, yeah, it's rough, dude. I get it. That's, part of me, like, I criticize the fuck out of it, Math Jaw, but I know that if they released, like, a set that I really, like, a, a really attached franchise for me, and Fallout's close, but it's not quite enough for me to jump, but I know, like, part of me knows that I might probably buy, you know, I'd probably end up biting the bullet, dude, which is cringe. Makes me part of the problem. Um, I think it's gonna be annoying to buy it. I, I never liked that argument of like, oh, you don't need to buy it or you don't need to like. It's like a like when a when something is in a game, oh, you don't need to use that mechanic. But like that doesn't it doesn't matter. It still affects the overall game balance, right? It still affects the the image, affects the integrity. Someone gave a wait. Someone gave a really good example of this recently. This is one of the best counter arguments I've ever heard. Ever seen the movie Bofa? Bofa, he's nuts in your mouth. Nice try. Um, see you in ten minutes, mate. Gotta be creative on the D's nuts jokes. Gotta be creative. Um, sh wait, Clarko shiny? Wait, fucking Magnemite? That's a good shiny, dude. Underrated, honestly. Wait, let's fucking go, Clarko. Congratulations, dude. It's been a while since we've seen it, dude. You love to see it. Congratulations, dude. Hell yeah. Nice work, dude. Uh, yeah, good luck to you, Alpha. Are there channel five? Don't let it blow up. Does it have self destruct? Yeah, watch out, dude. Magnemite is under Yadra Chiny. Yo, nice, the boy. Okay. Shitting a brick? Dude, let's go, Clarko. I do want to quickly get back to you. Okay, one of the best, one of the best counter arguments I've ever heard. Someone said, uh, there's a constant argument whenever you don't like something in a game or you don't like something. People always say, um, oh, just don't interact. Don't buy it then. Oh, don't just don't interact with that game function, whatever, right? The best analogy that I ever heard to debunk this is imagine if someone like came in your living room 
right? And didn't like, they didn't fuck with any of your furniture. They didn't like change anything that you have, but they like added a bunch of furniture. So they like added like a couch on top of your couch or they added like fucking a table upside down on top of your table and they like blocked off all the pads and like did all this dumb shit. Like brought all this, brought all this furniture outside and fucking flooded your room with furniture and you were like, oh, what the fuck? Like this, what the fuck? I don't like this. And then you were like, and they were like, oh, just, just ignore it. Like just, just ignore that furniture. Just like, just like live around it. And it's like, well, dude, it's literally directly in my way. What do you mean? Um, that's one of the best analogies I've ever heard for like for that kind of argument. People like, oh, I just, just ignore that. Oh, if you don't, if you don't like it, just ignore it. If you don't like that game mechanic, just don't use it. It doesn't work like that. It affects everybody. It affects everything. Um, a table, a table does hard based. Uh, I can't imagine why not lane, but I could be wrong. Yo, intergalactic gecko. Thank you for the six months of Twitch prime gamer. I really appreciate it, dude. Much love to you. Dude, yeah, I would doubt it, Clarko, but I would double check the Pokedex, but you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, good luck to you on your charm, Lycan. Thank you for the six months, Gecko. I appreciate it, dude. I love the name, as always. Dude, Venonat and Venomoth are great shinies. Couch on couch sounds dope. Yeah, real. Okay, I gave it. That was a bad analogy, guys. All the stuff I said actually sounds really sick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> True and real. Dude, good luck to you, Clarko. Uh, what's up, Giannis? Or Giannis? What's up, dude? <clears throat> You're wild, Clarko. It's a safe catch. Don't tell him to master ball it. Come on. Don't tell him. Ah, uh, that's brutal, Wolfgang. Gotcha, gotcha. Venomoth Butterfly are going to be swapped? Like the, it's like the Pokemon themselves? Sorlan and Hoenn. I have a bunch of videos that cover like best Pokemon. If you just Google what's the best Pokemon to beat Pokemon or like, you know, best, yeah, best storyline Pokemon, Pokemon. I have a bunch of videos on the topic. Like five or more videos, Baldarian. I would just check that out, dude. Check those out. Advocate of Master Balling. Hey, fair enough, Josh. Fair enough. Happy. To, I'm fucking happy to hear if it's you know in a positive state. Well, been able to evolve Venonat. I don't know. I've heard like similar arguments. Oh, cause the eyes, right? I have I have heard this. It's cause the eyes, right? That's mostly. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. If you can't find the videos, Bulgarian, let me know, dude. I can link them to you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, to be fair, in, dude, I don't know. I'm obviously very against master balling. If you're gonna master ball anything, I can I can respect the master balling the. A shalpha. You probably shouldn't. If I were to get a shiny alpha, I probably wouldn't master ball. I'd play out the fight. Um, but I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's the more common one that I've heard, sad boy. And that one's pretty egregious. That probably makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm switching those. Like Magikarp definitely should. I actually super agree with that one. Basketball random carp. Yeah, sure. Why not? Forehead. Yeah, and I, yeah, and I, and I get it, and I respect it, Mist. I get that. Dude, nice job. I assume Clarko got it. Nice job, dude. If you want, my are my whispers. I can turn them on. You can whisper it to me, dude. Congratulations, Clarko. Uh, from what I've heard, yes. From from everything the devs have said, Claude, that is yes. 
So uh, if you lose a fight against a Shalfa, a shiny Alpha, will it respawn as a Shalfa after the two-minute cooldown? From everything we understand about Alphas and everything the devs have told us, yes. Um, that's how it should work. So if you encounter a Shalfa, it should stay there until... It should stay. You can like, statically re-encounter it, even if you fuck up the fight, until you catch it. Um, that's how it should work. But I've never... I don't think anyone's ever tested it. <laughs> so if you want to be the first person to test it, more power to you. Uh, but that's definitely a scary, scary risk. I get why people Master Ball shiny alphas like technically like nerd emoji you could just it's not really ideal but like i get it dude who's gonna i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh yeah don't you know i get why people don't want to risk it's a shiny alpha man the odds of that are so insane i get why people master ball those i want to test it uh if you look like get unbanned from the discord Giannis, you can whisper me dm me on discord dm me on twitter dm any of my moderators reach out to somebody dude Some people mail me in game. Give me your Discord name. Give me, you know, whatever. What do you mean, Audrey? Did he true and real sim killer? Uh, that link should. I, I see people sometimes say the link doesn't work, but it absolutely should work. I'm pretty sure it just does work. I think. Discord links are finicky sometimes. Uh, what are you hunting, boss? What's up, dude? Uh, number one priority here is Sudowoodo. But I'd be happy with and anything here except for Ponyta. Is asking chat GPT for PvP team a good video idea? It'd be interesting. The issue is it wouldn't be good for... It probably would be good for Pokemon PvP, but not for Pokemon Mo PvP. Like, I don't think there's going to be enough information on Pokemon PvP for chat GPT to be able to like scrape that information. But it'd be a good video idea. Just the shiny. All right, Clarko got himself a shiny Magnemite while watching the stream, dude. Bold is good. Dude, this is not bad at all. Bold nature, this is not bad at all. Third of defense, 20 plus in most of the stats. Like, you just need special attack and defense. But even then, like, their stats aren't that low. This is solid, dude. This is a great... That's awesome, dude. Magnemite's an underrated shiny as well, dude. Congratulations, Clarko. Underrated shiny. Congrats, dude. Yeah, Magnemite's underrated in my opinion. Only my second shiny, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell fucking yeah, Clarko. Was it, um... Were you hoarding it? Was it single account? Was it times three hoard? I'm not even sure the best way to go for Magnemite. What happens if, what happens if you try to breed a shiny? If you breed a shiny with another shiny, the baby comes out 100% shiny. However, keep in mind, keeping OT when breeding a shiny is really important and really dangerous. So I really recommend checking out my... Uh, I have a shiny breeding guide on my channel. Check that out to keep OT and don't make any mistake. You could lose a whole shiny hunt if you, if you mess that up. So be careful with that. Um, but if you breed two shinies together, it will come out shiny, guaranteed. And the game will physically not let you breed a shiny with a non-shiny Pokemon. Oh, there is a times five? I didn't even know there was a times five for Magnemite. That's kind of crazy. That's cool. Like the shiny rating? I'm looking to do a shiny rating or a fashion contest within the next month or so. I want to do them before my... Before my bachelor party slash birthday little break. Here, let me just schedule... Let me just start the schedules now, honestly. What's today? Today is March 13th. Let's schedule... What about first chat? Let's do a poll. What do you guys care about more? New poll. Um, fashion, which event first? Fashion contest, shiny rating. I'll give you five minutes to vote on it. All right, make your votes. Which do you guys prefer? Which do you care about? I'm gonna go ahead and schedule them now. I'm gonna go ahead and just work on it. People are asking. The people you gotta give the people what they want. They've been asking, dude. Uh, yes. Q-tip. You want to breed up IVs of shinies? Yeah. 
What's a shiny rating? It's where people link me their shinies and then I make fun of them. <laughs> no, it's when people link me their shinies and then I, uh, I give them a, a, a rating on a scale of 0 to 10 on how impressive it is. I don't know if you could compete with me. Dude, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, that's pretty easy to do, Valentino. I'm down, dude. Where's the poll? It's on Twitch chat. It's in Twitch chat. You could go join Twitch really, really quick just to, just to click it. So far, fashion, I'm going to be, I'm surprised. So far, fashion contest is winning. I didn't expect, I didn't know people liked fashion contest so much. I would have assumed, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's all, which makes me really happy. Like, oh yeah, I'm currently running a poll about whether people want to see a Pokemon fashion contest or a shiny rating first. If you aren't familiar, uh, historically I've done shiny ratings where you link me your shinies, you whisper, I, you know, I, play, I scheduled ahead of time, like a week or two ahead of time, and everybody links me their shinies, and I rate them on a scale of 0 to 10 on how impressive they are. Very, very few Pokemon get a 10. I think w like over like an hour or two of shiny rating, only like 1 to 3 Pokemon usually get a 10, usually 1 or 2. Um, and then for fashion contests, I'm very harsh on the shiny ratings. I think the average score for a shiny rating is like a 3 out of 10. Like, that's like the average. Um, fashion contest, I'm much more positive. It's there to like hype people up and shout people out. Um, fashion contest, the average score is probably like 7. 7 or 8 out of 10. Um, but I didn't think people liked fashion contests this much. But fashion contest is in the lead in the poll. 56% versus 44%. It's kind of close. But vote whichever you want to see first. I'll be doing... I'm going to try to do both this month. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and schedule them. I'm going to go... Go ahead and schedule whichever one wins. So probably the fashion contest. I'm going to still be fashion contest for March 21st. Okay. March 21st. That's Thursday at 12 p.m. Is going to be the fashion contest. And then the next week. So March 28th. March 28th. Thursday at 12 p.m. That's going to be the shiny rating. It'll be a good ways to, uh, to end the weeks of streams. I'll go ahead and schedule them. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I'll get those scheduled. Let's go. I'm trying to start. I'm going to have to do them after stream. Is this going to end my stream if I click this? <laughs> I'm kind of scared. If I try to schedule a stream while I'm live. I'm going to click it. If it ends my stream, I'm sorry. I don't think it should. I'll go back live whenever possible. All right, fashion contest first, right? We're going to reuse these settings. Fashion contests. I like I like doing these every like one to three months generally, but it's been a while because of uh, event season. Stream ending. Stream is not ending. Don't trick people. Do you have an OTC? I do. I have one. I have one, which was my Nidorina. Nidoran. Nidoran female. What to shut next, dude? What are you gonna shut next, Clarko? I mean, that's the that's the big call. That's the big decision. Uh, yes, yeah, Seismic Toss has standardized damage. Where it does, like, a flat... It's a flat amount based on the Pokemon's level, right? So it's not quite like... Like, Dragon Rage always does 40, right? 40 HP. Seismic Toss is, like, if you have a level 50 chance, it always does 50 HP of damage, correct? I think that's how it works. Did you play on mobile? I play it on a... Not on my phone, but I play it on a, on a tablet and on my laptop sometimes. Largo shit in just shot. Yeah, for his third shiny hunt, true and real. Fashion contest won, but it was pretty close, man. 51%. I feel like more people can probably participate in a fashion contest versus shiny ratings are, uh, I lost 30 viewers because people thought I was on stream. Versus, uh... <laughs> 
you know, shiny raiding, you have to have a good shiny, which is just harder to get, I assume. Revolt, thanks for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully the content's been helpful. Join the Phoebus community. Holy shit. You guys are crazy. Yeah, let's do... do, do, do. The last... Okay, for reference... Okay, for reference, the last fashion contest was in September was September 7th. That's how long it's been. Which, I mean, makes sense because um, I wanted to wait until all of event season. I wanted to wait until post-event season to finally do more fashion contests and shiny ratings. So, it's been quite a while, fellas. It'll be fun to uh, to bring them back. Post-event season. There's so many more so many more shinies have been brought into the game. We have things like alpha, sh like chalfas. We have things like a lot more legendary shinies. We have uh, way more way more vanities, you know, three or four events worth of vanities. There's a lot of things we can show off for the first time at these uh, at this new fashion contest and shiny ratings. Uh, yeah, 3 slash 1324, 12 PMET, sell it on City Channel 3. This should be good. Thank you for Yo, thank you so much for the sub. Yo, Fanny Quazo, I appreciate it, dude. Where do you want for Phoebus? Uh, there's like a specific route in Hoenn that you like run back and forth on, on Channel 5 and try to see if someone's finding this. It's one tile, it's one specific tile in the game that constantly changes every like 20 minutes or so. Uh, yo, Quazo, I appreciate the sub, dude. Hopefully the content's been helpful enough or entertaining enough to warrant that above and beyond support, man. No more ads based. I appreciate it, dude. Shiny contest? Dude, good luck to you, Peon. That's tough. 700 hours of shiny is tough. Good luck to you, dude. Are Pokemon involved in fashion or vanity? I try to leave, like, kind of... Uh, I try to leave the Pokemon out of it. But, like, I don't know. If you want to weave in a shiny... I think if you want to weave in a, in a species, I think it's you'll, you'll get extra points if you can if you can match. If it's like a, it's like a risk, like if you weave in a shiny or a Pokemon and it doesn't match your outfit well, you're probably gonna get negative points. So like I would only weave in like a really good one, you know. You no, know, good luck to you, TTV dang. Time to shun Haxorus. Casey's been at Actu a little bit. Alrighty, that one's going to be scheduled for March 21st. Give you guys enough time to pre prepare for it, okay? Alright, so officially, there is a scheduled fashion contest for March 21st on my channel. Go check it out if you're interested. Now let's do the shiny rating. Yo, thanks for the follow, Lex Temp. I appreciate it. Gib shiny friend, good luck to you, dude. Good luck to you, gamer. All right, this will be uh, so the other one will be on twenty eighth, I believe. Yeah, the twenty eighth will be the shiny rating. So you've got how many days? You guys have what fifteen days to go get yourself a turbo rare shiny, okay? To impress me, that's your timeline. And about half of that, like seven or a, a week or whatever, a week to get together a, a banger, cosmic, a banger vanity, a banger outfit, a banger designed fit, okay? Get your drip. 
Get your shinies. Be there or be square. What it comes down to. March 28th. Noon. All right, they're both scheduled, fellas. I can go back to reading chat, finally. Get your drip up, not your funny up. Get both, why not? 15 days for very doable? True. Bald with worm worm. <laughs> Honestly, kind of a dank look, dude. That's actually kind of good. Bald with a worm worm is kind of baller. Uh, that's a hilarious qu- that's a g fucking specific- I love questions like that, Danny. I don't know, dude. It's a good question. Uh, what's an Akaberry exactly do? What's up, Pratham? What's an Akaberry exactly do? Uh, weakens a super effective fire type. I, that's a good question. I don't know what triggers first. Probably the burn. Probably the I, I would assume incinerate burns it. I feel like that's gotta be- but I could be wrong. What's up, Tom? Welcome back, dude. Oh, uh, actually evolved my discharge Pikachu of recipe farming and Eevee trained other mons. Right now, is it ruined? I wouldn't say it's ruined. I mean, I would say it's not quite. A, it's fine, dude. Um, the only difference is it does like less damage now, right? It's like a little. It's like a little worse. It's totally not ruined. I think it's totally fine, dude. I think it's totally fine, personally. Um, I'm trying to think of like what what that would like what negatives that would cause. I think Pikachu's better, but I wouldn't say it's ruined. Would not say it's ruined. Shiny Marl is such a good shiny. Um, I dude, I've been putting off going for Shiny Marl because I use Shiny Marl. I use a uh, Marl as like my go-to EV training spot. I try to like put off shinies that I know that I'll passively get over time. Surely it burns it. Yeah, I feel like Incinerate's such a bad move that like if it, I like the idea of it. Taking priority and having a little bit, you know, a little bit of benefit there. Aqua Triggers first? Really? How the fuck do you know that interaction off the top of your head? You're cracked. Aqua protects first. Ah, so makes the Monte damage. Yeah, something like that, Arthur. Fair enough. That's that. I, I like that logic, Arthur. Shiny Electrike is such a good first shiny, dude. Is that a times three horde? Uh. I don't think anything over. I, I took it out. I, tra I trained up all my uh, all my Jimmy Run Pokemon are fully leveled now. I'm just waiting to uh, learn the route, which I'm stalling for because <laughs> I don't want to do it today. I, I like that logic, Arthur. That's a cool one. That's a cool explanation. Your first Ocarina probably just Fly. Boring answer. Fly is probably the most important Ocarina. Uh, I believe that's still the best. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's still the best spot by far for Act 2 TJ. Because you times five hoard it with like Wubat, right? And it's like a 60 40 split. I think it's like a 60% chance for Wubat, 40%, which is pretty good. I think that's still by far the best way to go for Act 2. Times five hordes are so fast. That is horribly annoying, some killer. Fuck, that's funny. Is that like a Jimmy Run strat or something? Got it ran oh shit, that's awesome. That's a crazy way to get a shiny jack uh jack jack poked. Flyer cut, yeah, fair. Dude, Xanarchy and Rainer have advanced. Those two guys have advanced the Jumri run strat so ridiculously. It's it's actually crazy. They've they've both advanced it so much. Just two guys pushing it for obviously a lot of people have helped, but like those guys have pushed it so much further than anybody else, you know? I've had this question from a couple people, Xhev. Uh, Pat, is it possible to make a video about the account box? Maybe I'm missing something. Um, I mentioned the account box in the in like the update post when it came out, and maybe I'm just misunderstanding. I don't think it's like it's a cool thing, but like, what do I in a video about it? How long is that video? Thirty seconds. What do I say about it? Not to like, I, I just don't know what there is to. It, it's cool. Like what? It's a box that you can put Pokemon in. And 
It's a bot. It's basically just it's just a PC box that is shared by all of the all of the uh, characters created on that account. That's it. So if you put a if I you know if I'm on Petrowski, and I put a Pokemon in that account box, I can hop over to a different character only on this same account, which most of my main characters aren't. And I can like pull it out, but that's that's really it. Like it's not that big of a, I, I don't. It's not that. I feel like it's hard to like miss. It's hard. It's hard. Number one, not to understand because it's so simple. And then number two, it's really hard to miss because it's, it's whenever you open your PC, you always see it. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. But yeah, maybe like a YouTube short or something. But even even that, I feel maybe I'm. I don't know. I don't know if it's. It doesn't seem that exciting to me as a YouTube short even even then. Uh, but it's it's neat. But yeah, I don't know. Hey, there's this new mechanic. It's a PC box for shared characters on the account. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah, make sure to like the like the outro would be longer than the video. <laughs> like, like the video, subscribe, follow on Twitch, yada yada yada. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, but even then, like, yeah, I don't know. Best new feature. Fair enough, dude. My alt's finally usable. Like before, I would just mail stuff back and forth. Now vanilla is it new? There's a bunch of shelves in the GTL, but is it like a new one, I assume, or something? I do like... Yeah, one minute ago. That's pretty cool. Ooh! Oh, shit! Someone got a Premier Ball Shalfa! I don't know if I've seen that yet. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I've seen one. Wow, this is like the, I think this is the first one I've seen. I've not seen a Premier Ball Shalfa yet. There it is, fellas. Premier Ball Shalfa. That's pretty cool. That is... It's, it's cool to see that text. I'm not going to lie. Um, That's pretty interesting. Special attack. Really good. Wait, these stats are actually insane. Unfortunately, bashful nature, but these stats are wicked good. Um, There's a Premier Ball Star. I, I didn't see it, so fair enough. That's super cool. I wonder if you can change it to like... You can't really search for a Premier Ball caught shiny. I doubt it, right? That's super cool though, man. Premier Ball Shalfa up on the GTL. I guess there's not that many on the GTL. You could just go through them all. Yo, Untoads. Thank, Thank you for 11 you months of subs, dude. Super generous of you. Hopefully the content still lives up to that hype, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Untoads. Oh, here's an okay. Here's another Premier Ball shiny. Okay. Premier. There's like only 19 Shalfas on the GTL. It's pretty easy to check them all. So two Premier Ball Shalfas I've seen. Here's a Jinx. That's kind of neat. That fortress has been up there forever. You can probably just tell by the premier ball like it's actually in or whatever. So gotcha. Okay. So I've seen Shalfa Jinx and Shalfa Vanillix both from Premier Balls. Kind of neat. Is that code for me to start opening? Is that code for me to start opening, chat? What do we think? <laughs> I'm fucking not. I'm just kidding. Not gonna do it. I'm not that dumb. I'm saving those for investments, boys. <clears throat> Catch gotcha, on Dino totally worth it if you complete the Pokedex based. Are people using auto clickers and bots? I just want to say it was close to people poking a dollar. So, my why do you think when someone says they're close to two bill Pokeyen, that immediately means auto clicker slash bot? What's the logic there, right? Um, as opposed to there's plenty of people with with billions of Pokeyen, right? It's not common, but it's not like so rare to where you're like, oh, the only way that's possible is via bots, right? There are vanities in Pokemo that are worth billions of Pokeyen, right? The blue flaming skull is worth two to five bill, right? The um, ghost outfits, another like one to two bill, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, the Q hat, 15 bill. Electric storm, 15 bill. Desu lab coat, 15, 20 bill. Colorable Desu lab coat, 50, or like 30 bill. Like, there are vanities that cost an exceeding amount of Pokeyen, more than the average player can even fathom or imagine. This is this is not like, just because someone has a lot of money doesn't mean, oh, that they must be botting. Um, bots get banned really, really aggressively in Pokemo because there's no such things. There's no such thing as a bot farm in Pokemo. You can effectively bot farm Pokemo. I explain this and I talk about this over and over and over again, but people still have these conspiracy theories and still ask questions. Yes, billion, not million. Um... The reason why bots aren't a th aren't really a problem in Pokemon, there are some bots they are going to exist, but the reason why they get banned really aggressively compared to any other free-to-play MMO, go look at, even like WoW has more, that's a paid membership of $15 a month, it's way more bots than Pokemon, um, even per capita of players. Old School RuneScape has way more fucking bots, yeah, anyone coming from Old School RuneScape and like crying about bots in Pokemon has never played like any other MMO in their life, and it's so obvious. Um, 
bots in Pokemon are not a problem because there's no such thing as bot farms because you can't play more than one Pokemon character per device at a time. So what's the fucking point in bot? When you can go bot RuneScape and play 20 clients at once and bot 20 clients at once, why would you ever take the time and the effort to have to buy like 20 laptops just to be able to do the same thing? Right? Well, no, I'm, I'm using WoW as an example of having bots, even though it's a paid membership. Like, I'm, I'm using WoW as an example of, of having bots. Um, that's what I'm saying. Um, the botting is... Virtual machines, yeah. Anyone running Pokemon in a virtual machine gets banned. That's against the rules. This is all, like, real, like... If you ever have a conspiracy theory or, like, a question like this, just do, like, the most basic of research, and you'll come to the conclusion of, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's taken care of. Like... It's really important to understand that like people in life are smart, game developers are smart, and they take care of stuff. If you assume everybody's a moron, then you come to these conclusions. But if you understand that people are smart and solve problems, you understand like, oh, like these, there's already checks and balances in place for these things. If you're the type of person who is like, oh, I'm the first person to ever think of this, and I'm the first person to ever come to this idea, I really suggest you seek counseling. Not not that anyone in chat, my chat's being this. I'm more so just extrapolating and talking about another issue now, um, but. It's a huge thing where, like, yeah, just do some basic... Uh, running Pokemon virtual machines is against the rules because they assume you're using it to, to run multiple clients and bot. They want to be able to the, the main reason Aimo would want to play on virtual machines is to is to be able to bot farm, and that's why it's banned. So, Requiem, where does that... where Can you show me any piece of data, any piece of any evidence to show me why that's the case or is that just your feeling right that's a cr insane claim with like no possible logic behind it yes one minute okay if you show me a screenshot of Psyduck, that's not evidence <laughs> i hope you i hope that's i hope that's understood right that can be explained through other logical means means um the most boring answer is usually the most common one so you're showing me that a bot exists. This doesn't mean anything. That you're all you're doing is showing me yes, bots. This is like saying um This is like this is like when the news talks about how like crime is like such a huge problem in certain cities, but then actually the crime rate's been going down statistically for for years, right? So once again, you this is this is anecdotal. You you don't know what evidence is. This is anecdotal. This is visual things. So once again, once again, I'm sure that there are some bots, but are bots a problem is the question, right? Are bots a problem to the point where they are like actively hurting the game and not being banned at a, at a fast enough rate? Comparatively to every other metric, every other game logically, probably not, but we don't know for sure. We would have to have developer data on this, but it would not surprise, like based of all the logical evidence around us, it would not, it would make total sense that bots are banned super fast in Pokemon taking care of it really aggressively. Um. Uh, yeah, it totally does. But how? But how? But how much of it is in, is an issue? How? What's the average lifespan of a bot? Right? Due to the logic, due to due to like the systems in place, like I said before, like the inability to bot farm. Um. It it creates for the situation where like most bots get banned way quicker. Right? Not not just saying. Yeah. It's if you feel like, but it's it's totally okay to have the opinion and to feel like bots are more of a problem than we realize in Pokemon. But there's no evidence for it, right? And there's not really any evidence from my side either, aside from my logical thought process, which I hopefully explained. But that's it. Uh, so once again, Requiem, you're saying the same thing that everybody understands. This is all. This is like saying two plus two equals four, dude. We have the logic to understand that oh, you can only bot on one. Yeah, this is literally deja vu. It's, it's, it really is. Um, is it a problem? And how is it a problem? And why is it a problem? And explain, right? One guy, yeah. I didn't even bonk him. I mean, it's, 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 it's like, and it's totally okay to have the opinion of Requiem, and it's totally fine. But when you're repeatedly saying the same thing over and over again with no new evidence, no new logic, no new process, no any like. You're not offering anything. You're not like if you just say like if you if you just keep saying like oh I feel this because of this. 
Um, the thought process is fine. I get what you're saying of like side outs. Let's check side outs, right? There are bots in the game, but you'd have to argue like, how are they, how are they that much of a, are they too much of a problem? And like, it really just comes down, both of our arguments are based on feeling and basic logic at this point. You, you would argue they are, and I would argue they weren't. And that's it. There's no, there is no way to come to a factual conclusion on this. That's a team, Mr. Shot. At least he, I don't know if he still is a um, YouTuber, a memer. Um, Obviously, some of these are bots. Also, okay, wait. I actually want to address something. Okay, one of the funniest things, right? A lot of people claim that names like this are always bots in Pokemon. And sometimes that is true. This is about, like, whether or not bots are a big problem in Pokemon. Some of these accounts are bots. However, there is no in-game, like, Mandarin language for, for, for OT. So, a lot of foreign language or at least foreign to american right like a lot of japanese names a lot of mandarin names a lot of like a lot of these names get translated into english to gibberish so people will look at names like this or like uh like what's the other one like this and think it's like oh it's a bot not necessarily not necessarily people love to go into the conspiracy theory of bots are a huge problem in pokemon but all the logic points us to it not being and i've explained this over and over and over again in 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 stream recaps and on stream and in videos but people it's just i get it it's more interesting and it's more spicy to think that bots are a big problem and it's more spicy and interesting to think that there's a big thing happening or something right it, it's more boring it's more for like the most common thing to be the case like bots aren't a, pro a huge problem in pokemon because of the way the virtual machines are banned because of the one character at a time per device rule um there's not any like bot farming because of that like there's a lot of logical things in place that make that to be the case, right? Um, yeah, there are small scale, like one of the, there are bots in, I'm not saying there aren't bots. What happens is I make the claim that Barnes, bots, Barnes, lol, bots aren't a problem in Pokemon and players go to, oh, but one time I saw a bot at Dragon Spiral Tower Payday. And it's like, yeah, there are some bots. Like, I don't, I don't have to tell you, but if you've, if you've never played any other MMO before, just say so. It's so obvious. If you've played Old School RuneScape, if you played Classic WoW or any World of Warcraft, if you played Guild Wars, if you played like any of these games, bots are a huge problem in any free-to-play MMO ever. And they are so much aggressively less a problem in Pokemon. So it really frustrates me and annoys me when people try to make these like conspiracy theories and these claims with no evidence, no understanding, no thought process. Um, it's really, really frustrating. Um, it's totally okay to have the feeling and opinion that bots are a problem in Pokemon, and there's no real, there's just no real way you can counter that because there's no evidence, right? Just because, because there's no, because devs don't release data. If devs release data, like, here's, like, the bots we banned, or here's whatever, um, like, it'd be really nice at some point, but... Because it is frustrating to argue against this topic every stream, where people are just, like, claiming that bots are a huge issue in Pokemon, and I have to, like, go through the logical steps of, like how the the process of virtual machines how that's bannable um the one device per account rule why there's no bot farms yada 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 um and it's just it's the same arguments over and over and over again people like to complain it's way easier to think that you're a victim and that like it's not your fault and there's like other problems at hand versus um the more boring solution of like someone just out sniped me on the gtl or i just haven't gotten a shot i'm a little drive i'm a 40k drive it's easier to be like oh no it's just bots like oh no like whatever like invalidate everything versus like t actually accepting the fact of like oh i'm just like dry for a shiny or yada yada or oh, i'm just poor in pokemon whatever like it's just way easier to push that responsibility off on something else Whew. but i'm a bot yeah true compared to compared to any other free-to-play mmo on the on planet earth I would I would bet my life savings that Pokemon's bot per capita ratio is ridiculously low due to all the things in place. Like we literally have to stomach an insane thing that no other MMO has ever done, which is maybe I think maybe some others do. Um, but like the one account, one character at play at a time thing, that is an that is like an insane rule for any other MMO. Like multi-boxing and shadow boxing is a huge uh, part of MMO culture. And we have to tank that to allow the devs to ban more bots. It makes no sense for them to have that, but bots also be an issue. It makes no sense. A new topic? Yeah, we can move on. Uh. Yeah, bots are going to be a thing in every game ever, but... <laughs> Fuck! That, that's so funny, Vermel. Yesterday I saw a great flip. I wasn't fast enough. Saw someone claim it was a was a botted 
like sniped auction and then monkey linked it <laughs> some monkey business got it it's it's so fucking cope it's so obviously people who just yeah it's so cope dude 44,444 we'll see man yeah like and it just it just happens anthony good i hope you get a shiny as soon as possible man good luck to you man yeah, ping something. Dude, it's okay to also just be like, yeah, like some people are just at like severe disadvantage. Some people fucking have 104 ping or whatever. Like that just sucks. And that's okay, but like. Dude, global chat hates me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's because people who don't like me are just going to be like loud in global chat. And people who like do like me are going to be like quiet and like not feed into it. And like, you know, I don't, I don't want people to have to, I don't want people to def defend me in global chat because then it just becomes like a. I don't, it's not, you're not, you're not going to convince those people, you know? If people don't like me, it's also fine. I, I want, people should not like me. It'd be weird if, if everybody, it'd be weird if everybody, it'd probably be a fake person if everybody liked me. People should not like me. Um, people should not like me. People should not like my content. That's totally okay. However, if you're like someone who doesn't like me and you spend, if you're someone who doesn't like me and you're constantly like shit talking me in global or spending your time and energy talking about how much you don't like me, you probably, have other issues right um most people who don't like me just don't watch my they're giga chads like most people who don't like me are just giga chads who don't watch my content which is based hell yeah go watch go spend your time doing something you enjoy that's awesome that's a good thing it's a good thing that people don't like me but for people to hate on me that's cringe that's just like critique is good but crit i would say good critique is really hard to find online because it's just it's well and just in life it's way harder to give good critique than it is to like, it's just really hard because you have to like sit down, not liking something and not throw out ad homs, not throw out attacks. If you want to, I always say like that one of some of the fairest critiques of my content are things like, um, if you want to say my editing is poor, dude, fair. My, or my, I, I edit too little. My editing is weak. Uh, if, you, if my quality is too low for you, fair. All like, there's a lot of fair critiques if you think I ramble too much, if you don't think my scripts are tight enough, um, if you think my guides are unclear for whatever reason, they just don't work for you. There's a food takes or dog shit. There's so many. There's so many um, good reasons. You're too soft. Sure, if that's your fucking reason, dude. It, there's tons of reasons to not like me. That's totally fine. Um, yeah. Streamer yaps too much. Dude, sure. There's tons of valid reasons to not like me. Um, but when people just attack me, it's just cringe. If you spend time hating on hating on any time energy, you probably just 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 do something else, you know? Summer lights shuckle. Yeah, cringe. Too many shinies. He's too he doesn't he doesn't get enough shinies. He's just too he's just too much. He's too bad of a shunter. I don't really want to watch him. Fair. Yo, nice, Gavin. Too American? Okay, that's a based. <laughs> that's a good meme. About to be 444. You have a full shiny box? I don't have a full, like, not, not even a full box of shinies. How could you actually trust his shiny takes? True. All right, here is everybody's been calling shiny at 44,444 encounters. So close. That was a close one for sure. That was definitely the 29999 roll. True and real. Is it cheaper to buy another one than breeding a... You, no, breeding a, breeding a six times sort of one with one is way cheaper. It's way cheaper, but it takes a lot of time. But it's it's way cheaper to breed your own your own system thirty one than to buy one outright. I think uh, everyone can be critical of some of others. It's human to be critical, uh, whether it's healthy or not. Yeah, exactly. Like it's like when people hate on me, it hurts them more than anything, right? Or like not even disregard. This doesn't have to be about me, right? Like disregard me as part of the. If if you are someone who spends time hating on something or someone, um, unless you're actively trying to make a change, like. Like, unless there's some, like, active goal, I guess, at hand. Like, you're probably wasting your time. Like, just, um... Just go do something else with your, with your time, right? Like, when I hate on League of Legends, 
I will be the first to say I should st I should just not talk about League of Legends. I could sit here and cope and say like, oh, when I show on League of Legends, I try to critique it fairly and I try to encourage people not to play and I try to get people you know sober up off a of league. Like, there's certain things you can say like that, like be like an activist or whatever. But at the same time, it's like. I don't know. Those are kind of cope arguments. I feel like generally I just shouldn't talk about lead. It makes me sad, you know? And I'm willing to admit that. I feel like, yeah. Yo, what's up, Darius? Uh, I usually do OT re redemptions in like one big batch. So if you like redeem it, just wait like one to two weeks. And I usually do them in like a big batch. I'll never use lead on lead. Yeah, I fucking hate lead, but yeah. It's a good meme. I usually do them in one big batch every week or two. Reset the encounter counter, it tricks the game. Yeah, true and real. I'm gonna paint a picture red in a museum. Yeah, based. Get the honestly, yeah, get that emotion out. Lead rehab professional. Dude, it should be a thing, true. Uh, you know, sorry, Yonko. Uh, I just think that, sorry, this is a good question. Apologies. Uh, you still think investing in the premium rolls would be would good? Uh, we'll check the price. Uh, Yonko is asking, do you think it's still worth to invest in premier balls or have we missed the boat? What are they at right now? Um, I don't think you missed the boat at all. So once again, this is my opinion. This is like my just thoughts and opinions and preference. This is not financial advice. Do not go make decisions and then either get upset at me. If you lose money, don't get upset at me. If you make money, don't claim it's my, you know, if you made money, if it's on you, if you lose money, it's on you. Um, I think Mysterious Balls for 315K is super fair. I think that these will go up to like, I would guess that these will go up to like five or 600K at some point easily. Um, now, how many years will that take? Probably, you know, a year or two and the question becomes will they re-release premier balls if they re-release a new um like set kind of like trading card packs if they re-release a new set of mysterious premier balls that's going to drastically affect the price and maybe they'll you know that'll slow down how much they go up or how fast they go up aggressively now maybe they'll the, the first set will still be like the most expensive maybe maybe it'll just tank them all to the same price it depends on the pokemon and the sets we'll have to see i think at 315k if you want to sell within the next six to twelve months, it's probably fair. But you also have to be willing be willing to hold on to like for for any investment to be willing to hold on for at least two years. So if you have an alpha jinx, yeah. I mean, but you have that. The point is the shalpha chance, right? Like the math behind it is, um, it's currently cheaper to shalpha hunt with mysterious balls, premier balls, and you get a shalpha. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, let's I've done this before, but let's run over the math, right? The reason why mysterious premier balls are so good is because it's currently, it's around the same price, if not cheaper, to shiny hunt an alpha, to shalpha hunt with premier balls, than it is to just egg for it. And it takes two hours versus 2,000 hours, right? That's the thing you have to keep in mind. Um, and that can also be whaled and not not just bought, not, you don't, you can skip the 2,000 hours versus you can't skip the 2,000 hours of breeding. You have to do those 2,000 hours. So with premier balls, if you buy, what is it, 4,000, so let's do 4,000, uh, times 0.10 so minus 400 that's going to give us we're going to do dinner status and shiny charm that's important so minus 400 and then 10 percent of that's going to be minus 360 so now we're left with the actual shiny rates of popping mysterious premier balls with donor status and shiny charm so 3240 you can pop 1200 mysterious balls per hour right so that's like two or three hours on average of popping for a shiny now the cost is tremendous it's like over a billion pokey yen so let's do this number times 315k right it's over a billion pokey yen but your average shalpha costs like one to two billion already so let's go over that math right so let's do because if you use shiny charm and donator status while egging it actually costs more even though it saves you time but it actually costs more pokey yen so we're gonna go by that so it's one billion pokey yen on average to get a mysterious uh premier ball shalpha now you don't get to pick the the Pokemon, which that's really important. Um, but if you do a 30,000, you know, egg Shalpha, and those cost around 40 to 50K per breed, depending on the egg group, that's 1.2 bill, right? So to get the alpha you want, and it depends on the on the on the Pokemon species, it's gonna cost you around 1.2 billion Pokey N plus 2,000 hours, 
right? Versus Premier Balls are less than this. One billion Poke Yen. It only takes two to three hours. You are saving 1,800 or 19... It's 2,000. You're saving 2,000 hours. It's ridiculous. To be able to save 2,000 hours while also paying less Poke Yen for a Shalfa is absolutely insane. Now, obviously, you can't pick the species you want. Um, it's like, a you know, it's random. But... It's just the idea of saving tails and hours is just absolutely sickeningly ridiculous. Premier balls are super, super powerful. If you could, like, imagine if you could save 2,000 hours in your lifetime. It's just, that's how much would people pay for that, right? Like, if you ask your average person, how much IRL dollars would you pay to save 2,000 hours in your lifetime? Most people who, like, make decent money would, like, be willing to pay a fucking lot for that, right? Like, that's, that's a, like, time is way more valuable. Than money so people probably don't mind and are willing to credit card swipe and be that whale who just swipes for that premier ball which i think is lame and like makes it less way less respectable but there's people who will do it for sure oh was a long ramble yeah 2k hours is just a disgusting amount of time it's it's a ridiculous amount of time to save um that's a tough question danny that's i don't know that's a really tough question uh at some point yes alpha Yeah, 70 hours. And how much of that is that including like hours spent sleeping, Tempest? Like that's the other. Like it's it's two thousand hours is so much time. Seemed fun though. I don't recommend it's damn, I wouldn't recommend it. We definitely will at some point, Legend, but I don't know when. Woo! Um Um, I think it there is a way to do it, Python. I don't know if it exactly works. I think that might work, honestly. I'm not totally sure off the top of my head, Python, but I feel like that might actually work. I know you can, uh, there's a way you can, like, fudge it with particle effects to see if an egg will be shiny. Not that it really, it doesn't really change anything, even if you do see that, but. Uh, I've unironically thought about that, Alex. <laughs> Which is very funny. Um, Pokemon, yeah, like, a Pokemon audit. <laughs> It would be very fucking funny. I started playing this game one year ago, just three or four months. I was playing, so I did something like shiny hunting, money making, egg hunting, investments. Dude, that's all you. That's all your hard work paying off, Shinami. Good. I'm proud of you, man. Good work. That's all. I, like, if I can provide the information and like in like some game knowledge, that's awesome. But everything, it's all hard work and and time and effort put in by players. Good on you, dude. The park was fixed. That's good. Fair. I mean, I guess it doesn't. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Poker Forest? Yeah, I'm excited for it. It'll be a while still, but... Hey, come on, Admiral. Wait a minute. True and real, though. Uh, yes, the uh, the chance is 1 in 30k for an, uh, an alpha, yeah. Or alpha. That's cool, Danny. I was lucky. One of the nicest gestures the Poker Force devs did was um, reach out to me and let me reserve the name Petrowski before the forum servers went live. That was, I really appreciated that because that would have been a bummer if someone took Petrowski. Uh, if you wanted to redo your creator shot, would you change your strategy? Yes. I mean, I wouldn't have gone, that one of the dumbest mistakes I ever made shiny hunting ninja was I did not prepare nearly enough Pokeyen heading into an egg hunt. Um, yeah, so one of my dumbest mistakes shiny hunting was the Kranidos hunt. I headed into the Kranidos hunt with, I think, one or two donator statuses saved up, and then, like, 10 to 20 shiny charms, and then 42 mil liquid Poke Yen cash, right? It wasn't nearly enough. Um, it wasn't, not even, it wasn't even close. Um, I, I tell people to head into their hunts with, like, half of the Poke Yen up front, and then all the donators and shiny charms they need, and it just, I just ended up in this really shitty cycle of not being able to make enough money to be able to continue my hunt and then failing on like times five hordes and failing on other Chinese and it just felt like shit. Even though it was like logically, statistically, it doesn't really matter. It feels really bad. Um, when you do 60, you know, when you do 10,000 encounters straight for a Kranidos and then you do like times five hordes for like an hour or two and, the, and those 10,000 encounters took you six months and then that those 2,000 encounters took you two hours and you get a shiny Pelipper, it's just the most gutting feeling, you know? Um... It's brutal. So, yeah, I really recommend just coming into an egg hunt with more cash. Coming in with, like, at least 60 mil. I would say at least 60 to 65 mil Poke Yen. And then also, you know, tons of shiny charms, tons of dinner statuses. Like, come in really stacked into an egg hunt. Feelings matter when shiny... Yes. Feel yes. 
Feelings matter when shunting. Yes, obviously the logic, you know, it's not the the roles of shinies. It's what's it called gambler's fallacy. They don't actually rely on each other, but like feelings do matter when shunting. Shunting is all feeling. It's all controlling of emotions and it's all pushing through and like you're tired and keep going. Um, it's all willpower. It's all grinding, right? It's the same thing as RuneScape, uh, which is why I love it so much and why I'm able to be okay at it, right? Um, shunting is, is truly a it's truly a feelings game. I mean, it's similar to exercise and like working out. Like if you can get your, whatever gets you to the gym, whatever gets you going is like what's important, right? Obviously, you know, health standards, but but like it's, yeah, mental is so, so, so important with these like long-term grind-like activities. I just manually add the, um, I manually add the number of eggs I make after a batch to my encounter counter. It's pretty easy since you like the way you do egg hunting is you make like batches, right? So you spend like a ton of hours preparing one batch and then you do like one full batch of 400 eggs and then it takes you six hours to go hatch all those 400 eggs. So you have plenty of time to like add the math. During that six hours of AFK hatching, you have plenty of time. Pen and paper. I just, I just, it's pretty easy to add to my encounter counter manually. Uh, how many batches per day or week? At my peak hunts, I would do like 2,000 encounters a week, which isn't even like that insane, but it's pretty intense. Like, people people do more. Um, I did money making many. That was a fun. That was cool. You remember that, Alpha. That was a cool little mini thing. Uh, if you want to buy RP with like real money and then sell it, I would just buy RP vouchers and sell those for Pokeyan if you want to do that. Yeah, some people have said archetype. Does archetype count your your eggs or whatever? Archetype's a cool option. I haven't tested it. I'd like to test it. Six hours ain't enough, Chief. Dude, it's brutal. One batch per day. If you can main one batch per day is pretty intense. If you can maintain. If you can maintain doing one batch per day with like a wife and kids and like fa like it's really hard. Like at my peak, my job is to play this game and I'm pretty sure I would do like five batches in a week. So like under one batch. What sticking being able to do one batch a day is really intense. Um cuz think about it like this. Okay, people are asking about um pace of egg hunts and like what's a good pace to aim for. At my peak, I would do like five batches in a week. So like um, so people are saying, would you recommend one batch a day? One batch a day is really hard to do. Think about it like this, right? Like I play this game full time, right? And I was doing five batches in a week, right? One batch a day, you have to spend one hour, right? Doing the hyper mechanical egg making. And that's like the easiest part, right? Six hours hatching. So that's seven hours. Bare minimum, it's seven hours to do one batch a day. Just to be able to breed the eggs make the eggs and hatch them. This is not including any box organization or any ditto box buying, right? So if you have to do box organization and ditto box buying, it's it's tougher to estimate time, probably around three hours, right? If you're doing one batch a day of eggs, it's easily 10 hours a day. I don't know how any normal human does one batch a day of eggs without being an absolute god gamer. Like if you have a, 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 if you have a job, if you have a family, if you have kids, I don't know how you're doing egg hunting one batch a day I, I recommend like if you're a casual player i would aim for like two batches a week of egg hunting casual or even like long term you might want to still two is good like two is fine um but doing like yeah like two two to five batches a week is probably what i'd recommend depending on that's a huge difference it depends on your play style and depending on how much you can play but one batch a day you, you're not gonna you're not gonna maintain that it's just it's not you're not going to maintain that. Um, or some some people, very few might, but most won't, right? Yes. Fighting diddle boxes takes a lot of time. Yes. It, yes. It's one of the hardest parts, Smokey. My 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 Discord is great for it, but it, it's still... I'm a fucking streamer. I can... I, when, I, when I do my um, egg, eggs, I can just like load up stream and be like, hey, okay, everybody, I'm buying boxes. I'm so privileged. It should be like the easiest for me possible. And it's still a pain, you know? It's crazy. Um, like I, I have the easiest time out of anyone in the entire game, probably with the ability to buy diddle boxes. I'm very lucky. I'm very, and even that's hard. Um, I'm not really interested in it, miss, but I, I, yeah, I saw the DM. Sorry. I, I mean, I just have no interest in going for another, another shuckle. 
Especially if it's in the safari zone. Um, I would go for a comp shuckle at some point, but that would be like a. I wouldn't want a safari one for that. I want a breed. If they ever make a shuckle a horde, I'll go for it. Horse to play. It's it's not if you if dude if you have if you buy donator status if you just play like a couple hours a week it's it's really I wouldn't I would try to I understand that. I think eventually that feeling goes away Geo I felt like that for a while too eventually it just kind of goes away Yo happy to see you Squiddy what's up dude Alpha smear goes on Alpha catch that'd be cool why not right. Uh, the Jimmy Run team is fully ready, yes. I just haven't tested the route. I'm stalling for content as per usual. What's a shiny? You've never seen one yet? Yeah, true. Real. Would you spend 17 months if I... I mean, if I didn't have one, I probably would have, but... Lucky I got mine in the Safari Zone. Uh, my, the strings I'm using now are not the Mr. Exclusives. These are Bill's strings. If you Google um, updated string guide Pokemon, I have a video on it. You're an OG alpha. Wow, I forget something. That's, that's some old memes. I think Scyther again? Do Galactic Farco. I think Scyther... Scyther is a good shiny to probably, like, breed up... Like, it's a really... It's gonna be really slow, right? But, like... Yeah, if you do, like... If you do, like, your gym run every day, Alex, or at least, like, gym run five days a week, dude, you can pay off that donator so... Yeah, and make it so fast. Back, back so fast. Um... I, I would breed up uh, like Scyther competitives or like D like I would like breed up IVs and like slowly shunt for a Scyther that way. It's probably a really good one to do so for. But obviously it's hyper slow. So maybe do a mixture or something like that. Uh, worth buying Raikou. If you want a Raikou, if you don't care about having OT on your legendary, um, I would just buy all of them. It's it's so that the time it takes to hunt legendaries versus the like payoff is pretty crazy. It's only if you're a collector, only if you're a collector, and only if you care about having OT on it, um, should you hunt them. Otherwise, just buy them. It's totally fine. It's totally good. Uh, what's up, my boy? Yo, what's up, big big hog or big? Yeah, big. I was about to say, yeah, it is just your name. Um, bad day to be a shot on Petrowski online. I wish that was the case, man. I appreciate it, dude. What's up? What's up, man? Dude, that's crazy. I was, I was like, I don't, that was like, I don't remember your name from back in that. But you, you're quoting some old memes, Alpha. That's impressive, man. I appreciate it. That's crazy to me to think that someone would watch, you know, those older stream memes. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, yes, I do know. Uh, Pat, you know if I change my IGN, will my OT mons change the OT uh, tutor or not? Yes, they will. Uh, it, it didn't used to work like that, which was brutal, but nowadays it does. Thankfully, that's a great, really niche but good question to know. Yes, I mean, for sure, obviously, do any shiny hunting or legendary hunting out of... But there's just... The issue is, like, there's just not that many good single encounter hunts in the regions with legendaries, I feel like. Like, in Johto, there's, like, what? Furret slash Sentret? Like, what else? There's, there's just not that many good, like, single encounter hunts. Right? Um, In Johto. In Kanto, there's, like... I guess you can go for Charmander, but it's pretty unlikely. Uh, you can go for Execute's a good spot. There's, like, the Yanma spot, but that's not good. There's not, like, any, like, good... Like, if Sinnoh got a Legendary, like, this spot is insane. It'd be so good, right? But, like... Kanto and Johto have some of the worst single encounter shunts in the game, I feel like. And they got the Legendaries first. I want the best single encounters. I feel like Unova and Sinnoh have the best single encounters. Personally. Um, I don't think what Hoenn has... Hoenn has a lot of fishing ones. Hoenn has a lot of really good fishing ones. And it has the tree go. The tree one's pretty fucking good. Hoenn has Petalbird Woods. Hoenn has Whalmer. Ho Ho Hoenn has uh, Relicanth. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair spot, Jonah. You're crazy. I respect it, Dimitri, but you're crazy. What are Sinnoh single encounters? This spot has four rares. This spot alone is um, Breloom, Scyther, Mr. Mime, and... Sudowoodo. Four rares in one. This is this is the best single encounter spot in the entire game. Four rares in one spot is ridiculous. Oh, is it Sinnoh for Relicanth? Maybe it is, Tom. If so, one point for Sinnoh. <laughs> Plus one. Um, like this spot alone makes it incredible. And Unif has a bunch of dark grass. One has Absol. You shouldn't single encounter hunt for Absol. You should egg hunt it. Like that's like the, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, unless you repel trick it, you can repel trick it, right? 
as also Stropius. I do like that spot in Hoenn. I know what you're talking about. Eh, it's fair. There's a spot in Hoenn with Lawn Grass that has Tropius, Marsh Stomp, Absol. That spot's pretty bomb. I wouldn't go there specifically for Absol, but if you go there for like any of the, if you're if you're flexible on the shinies you get, if you want a lot of shinies, the spots that are good become you, you open up the spots that are viable to hunt. That's fair. Sorry if I was too harsh on that, Randy. Um, yeah, that's a good spot. That's fair. So like Carvana, yeah, Phoebus in Hoenn. Phoebus. Hoenn's really fucking... Hoenn probably is the best. Hoenn's very good for single encounters, I'm thinking about it. Oh, shit. Did someone list miss, miss Price? That's a crazy snipe, yeah. Sim killer. That's a really crazy snipe. They probably meant 119k. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like the number one speculated next legendary is the Reggie Trio. I mean, it makes sense. We saw we saw Tanto and Johto. It meant since they would go to Gen three, and then like the Regi Trio are pretty un very unproblematic in in PvP. So like, I think the Regi Trio does make a lot of sense. I get the speculation. Forty four thousand five hundred encounters, by the way, part. Uh, you can use legendaries in PvP. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> dude, you always, I, you always gotta go check, German. Dude, when, usually, like when there's when there's one, there's more. If someone is like under, uh, that seems like a just one misprice. But like, for example, if someone starts listing like cheap 2012s, right? Usually, there's more than one, right? Usually, it's like that person's about to list a list a ton. Even even this is like kind of underpriced. Do 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 do. Party wants to just buy this. Inner focus. I mean, it's pretty basic math, right, Gavin? I think it's just like 3k. I think it costs. I think it costs 3 million Pokeon on average for Lepos needed for a shunt. Uh, leftovers are kind of cheap right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, like 18k. Oh, shiny Ledion. What's that from? Why does it have no 2019? That's kind of neat. 29. This is a good Ledion. Is this bread? This Ledion is actually crazy. I just saw it up here on the GTL. 2.5 mil. Timid Ledian from 2019. Safari Zone caught. This is not bread. This is 24 IVs plus in everything. That's pretty wild. Obviously, it's a Ledian, but like, that's one of the more insane shinies in terms of IVs. That's really, 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 really nice. That's a dream, like, shiny with my OT, honestly. I got banned from my... I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, did you, did you get... Did they perma ban you, or were they at least like, "Hey, change your name," or do they they like temp ban you? Perma ban's fucking harsh, but the devs are the devs are harsh with permas. But you probably should definitely have some sort of punishment for it. You find a shiny without thirty one? What do you mean? Oh, without thirty one IVs. Um, yes. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute, not anymore. Um, you could find. I think that update was at 2019. I think 2019, somewhere in somewhere somewhere around 2019. Um, yeah, if you have to change your team, that's totally valid. It, it makes total sense, right? Uh, it might be. A, I would check the market. Sim killer. It just depends on whether you make profit on that breed or not. Might be worth. Maybe not be. Uh, you used to be able to find shinies without shinies were not guaranteed 31 IVs prior to like 2019. At some point. Yeah, that's tough, Alpha. The toaster. The toaster losing runs. Losing Pokeyen. Japan and beating the uh, Jolly for Battle Respawns Red on Mount Silver. See a lot of conflicting comments on Reddit slash forums. If beating the the Johto Elite 4 rebattle respawns Red. Uh, no, that shouldn't do that. Um, so the way that the Red fight... I'm glad you asked this. 
to me. Um, the way the red fight, the red refight works, right? Um, you can beat red like once a week. It's like a one week cooldown, right? So then after a week, he'll reappear. I don't think you can, I could be wrong. I mean, I always could be wrong, right? Um, I don't think you can like go beat the elite four and let him and like resummon him. I'm pretty sure you have to wait the week. Uh, if that works, I would assume that's a glitch, but I don't think that works. It'd be interesting to see it tested though. Um, a really, where is it at? One of the most underused, someone asked about like the red refight timer. One of the most underused mechanics in Pokemon that even I forget about is instance info. If you go over here and click this and click instance info, you can actually see what rebattles you have ready. It doesn't do uh, gym rebattles, but it does do like Ho-Oh, red, and then all the, uh, the Pokemon Elite Fours, which is pretty cool. Yeah, instant info is really interesting. Um, and it shows how many times you completed them, which is cool. I have to use the... Okay, I'm going to be right back, guys. Quick. I have to use the restroom. Quick BRB break. Give me... Give me like five minutes, okay? I'll be right back. Apologies, guys. Never done the whole refight. I've not done the refight, correct. I've done the uh, like initial story fight, but not the refight. Um, I'm going to be right back, guys. Give me five minutes. Go grab a snack. Grab water. Restroom break. Stretch your legs. Get up for a sec. I'll see you guys very soon with, with some shinies to come. True, true, true and real.
All right. Sorry for the long break. I'm back, chat. I'm back to shiny hunt, and I have a bowl of cereal, okay? How jealous are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Just say, it's okay. It's understandable. I've got my blueberry pet unmuted. Thank you, thank you. Don't read chat. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Um, God damn it. Got my blueberry frosted mini wheats. I'm ready to chow down and get a rare shiny. Let's see what happens. Give me that rare, boys. What do we think the species is going to be? Uh, and if you say ponytail, you get banned. True and real. Absolutely true and real. Dude, people sleep on frosted mini wheats. I'm a fan, dude. The original strawberry, blueberry frosted mini wheats, all fantastic. Dude, they're good, man. Shiny poopy ta. Okay. Reese's Puffs underrated? I, I think they're properly rated. They're very good. I wouldn't call them underrated. God damn it, Polacco. Shut up. Dreamer takes one bathroom break. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's probably like my third bathroom break, to be fair. It's those monster ultras, bro. They cook you. Chat was unhinged while you were gone? That doesn't sound like them. What do you mean? Why no face cam? I'm not at my place. I'm at my girlfriend's place. I don't have like a background or a setup. I will, I will say that I did nothing wrong. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Uh, control plus left foot, TJ. Good question. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so happy to hear my audience is alienated, alienating the 3% female audience I have while I'm, while I'm away from keyboard. Awesome news, guys. What's up, dude? Nice shiny, man. Good IVs. Wow. Jolly? Hey, nice job, dude. Congrats. Sorry I ever talk with, with food in my mouth a little bit. It's either I talk with a little, a little bit of food in my mouth or I don't talk. I feel like my stats always go up when I go AFK. I get more viewers. Hey, happy to hear it. Happy to hear the psychos in my chat can be ignored. Okay, no more poop talk, please. I'm eating. <laughs> Unironically. Thanks, guys. Love you. Yo, what's up, Gino? How you doing today, dude? <laughs> Yo, true and real, Rumel. Actually real. Yo, Kaylee, what's up? Happy to have you. I don't want to watch. Yeah, now that the streamer's back, I just don't, not really. It's not really have the same appeal, you know. What's the point? Okay, Dimitri, stop. No, no more bathroom talk, guys. Jeez, Louise. Okay, now we're just whispering me shinies, guys. Come on. You're just trying to flex. Shining the final spoon of cereal trust. Okay, I like the call. Uh, I do not have one built, Polacos, no. Yo, happy to hear it, Abby. Shut up, Kelly. <laughs> XD. All 
Oh, man. My shiny rate went down while I was AFK. True. Get out of here, Sem. You can't D's nuts me in game. Doesn't count. Shiny will appear if you get a second bowl of cereal. Say less, dude. Don't tempt me. You could actually say less. I'm not going to do that. I'm a one bowl of cereal kind of guy. Try to limit myself. One big bowl. <laughs> Thank you, mods. Yo, nine tails. Sorry, I'm finishing up some cereal. Thank you for the huge raid, dude. Hmm, okay. Done my little my cereal lunch. Nine Tails, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for the rate. Didn't you wait, did you get a shiny today, Nine Tails? Wait. Yeah, you got one today, didn't you, Nine Tails? Oh, you're bringing the good luck to me then. You're far too kind. You're far too kind. Alaron, such a good shiny, dude. Congratulations, man. That whole line, Ar the Alaron line is so underhunted. Great Pokemon, great shinies. Congratulations, dude. That's awesome to hear. Hopefully, the luck is coming over now, boys. Ninetales was kind enough to get himself a shiny and then bring over that RNG to us. Let's make good use of it, fellas. Let's make good use of it. How are you still going to It's a still dab, man. It's a still dab. Ninetales puts in the work. Gotta grab a bite, too? Yeah, good luck, dude. Yo, what's up, Solaris? My day's been pretty chill, I think. Pretty, yeah, pretty fun. Pretty good. No complaints, really. My throat hurts a little. That's about it. I don't know. I'm excited for like a. I'm excited for an upcoming break. I'm, I'm gonna. That won't happen until like April. But like late April is gonna be like I'm gonna have like a, a fair amount of time off, which will be nice. I have my bachelor party coming up in April and my birthday, so that'll be cool. Uh, no sim killer. If my next Chinese ponytail, I will. Hunt it in the face. There you go. Yeah, I wonder why, Alpha. Is it from some stupid innuendo, or is it because I talk? Uh, I yap, okay? I be yapping, okay? Strippers? I do not want strippers for my bachelor party. I, I, I know this is like a boring take. Maybe I'm just a fucking loser. I don't know, man. That shit just seems sad to me. I, <laughs> I don't know. I have no interest. Oh, my, one sec, my mic's about to fall apart. Um, so let me fix this. <laughs> Okay, sorry, my boom arm was falling apart. I had to tighten it up. Okay, shut up, Alpha. Incredibly awkward, yeah. Mike muted, I was just fixing the boom arm. What's up, what's up? Team Mr. Members, oh, gee, okay, no, chill. Yeah, I don't know. I've never I've never been to a strip club, so maybe I'm just a loser. Maybe I'm just a fucking virgin. I don't know, dude. Um, to me, it just... I wouldn't like it personally. I could see how it could be fun. Um, but I don't know. I don't think... I think it just seems sad to me. I, I don't like... I, I don't even like Hooters. Like, Hooter... Like, I don't like the idea of paying someone for attention. That... I just... I can't 
get over that. Like, I, it, I'll never be able to, like... The reason people do that is it feels good, but I'll never be able to actually feel good because I just I can't get over that hump. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Um, Chad opinion? There's nothing... I don't know. There's nothing wrong with... If you enjoy that stuff, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's super fair. Um, I think I think stuff like that is totally fine. Like I think I think businesses like that are totally fine. Like if you enjoy that, I think it's totally fine. I I, I wish I could. I just something I can't. I don't know. I can't really enjoy something for attention. Yeah, it's just like streamers. <laughs> That's true. So we do with you, Pat. Yeah, you're our stripper. That's the life of the the streamer, man. Not the nine to five stripper. Hooters burgers are pretty good though. Well, now I gotta go for the food, dude. True, true and real. My lore wasn't popped there for a bit. I don't know how long, but we fixed it. Thankfully, we fixed it. There are burgers. Yeah, what what food do they even serve? Like wings? I literally have no idea. Like what food? What do they serve at Hooters? Against Big Strip? No, I, dude, I think it's, once again, I think businesses like that are totally fine. I th and I respect it, like, I just, not for me, it's a personal preference. They serve food? Yeah, everybody's like, wait, they serve food at Hooters? What the hell? Okay, come on, Evan. That's such a dumb... It's not even a... Can you even call that a joke? It's just like saying a sentence. <laughs> come on. You gotta do better than that, man. Come on. They serve food? Unbelievable. There's bar food? Yeah, it feels like burgers, fries. Probably just like whatever, right? Nothing crazy. Oh, I caught a Dino. Dude, for the Pokedex? Dude, nice, Eraz. Congratulations, man. Hooters, ain't that a Pokemon? Yeah, pretty much. Hoot hoot. Close enough. No, see, I have seven full boxes of Squirtles. How do I sell them all? At you throw in a box. So, how many of those Squirtles have IVs, right? For any of those Squirtles that have 1 times 31 IVs, sell them on the GTL. You have to or sort and organize, right? Um, and how do you, if you Google how to trade Ditto boxes Pokemon, I have a video on it. I think it's like my worst quality video, hilariously, because I accidentally exported it in like 480p. Um, I have a video called Ditto Boxes Explained, though, which it's it's the same thing. Ditto Boxes Explained Pokemon. So I do have videos on these. Um, yeah, if you Google Ditto Boxes Explained Pokemon, that video will show you. And then how to trade a Ditto Box will show you the visuals, but it's in like two, four, it's in like the worst quality ever. Like, it's really funny because I exported it in the wrong quality on accident. Yeah, female Squirtles have a good... So, any female Squirtles, any um, IV Squirtles, a lot of stuff like like that. Maybe even natured Squirtles, like if you find them with like Modest, they might go for more. And anything that's worth value, anything that's worth beyond base value, you sell on the GTL and you box up everything else. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, any anything that might get egg hunted, Slippery. Um, keep in mind, keep in mind... Ditto boxes are the most desired because you need 30,000 dittos per egg shiny on average. Obviously, you can like weave in some male egg groups or whatever, right? But like on average, right? Or just kind of, right? It's easier to keep track of that. Technically, no nerge emoji, whatever, right? Um, but you only need like 400 Cyndaquils to start like egg. You only need like 400 Eevees. 400, like, people are buying Squirtles and Eevees and Cyndaquils and stuff like that to start egg breeding. And then after that, they need 30,000 uh, dittos. See past prices of items. There's a website called Pokey MMO Hub, which does keep track of some of the the data for old item prices. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Dimitri? Uh, I prefer Spin Rack over Ariados. Yes, um, Ariados is also fantastic, but. Also, like with with a shiny like this, so this is a this is a Squirtle OT. This is a catch event one shiny, so it means I can't breed it, right? I can never. This cannot be 
bred or traded. Or it says, to be fair, it just says traded, but I'm pretty sure it can't be bred either. Or it shouldn't be able to unless they changed it. Um, but because of that, if I turn it into an Eridos, I can never turn it back. Versus um, if I were to, you know, turn any other spin rack into an Eridos, I can always breed it. I can always breed it back down if I missed it, right? But this is like a one time. You can never fix it. Base Rumel. From a viewer's choosing? Wait, what do you mean, Clark? Are you, are you saying like the naming like I have? Or are you saying like the I name their Pokemon? That's crazy. I don't know who would actually redeem that. That's crazy. Uh, historically, you couldn't, Danny. So I'd be surprised, but maybe? I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, Ted's, I'm not familiar with Ted's. I If you look up uh, Pokemon updated string guide, I mean, that's what I use. But, yeah. I gambled 30 kitchen for blues. Please let me down. I'm trying. I'm trying, Shiny Nick. What's up, dude? Uh, some of those Pokemon have been named Tom, and some have not. Go to Yo, nice, dude. Nice work phase. How's it going, man? How's that process been? Should we take it to Shiny? I'm going to try my best, dude. We're going to see what happens. Do I just start doing times five hordes, man, and just crank them out? Single encounters is starting to get to me. No, Ooh, bro, don't. I always want to end up. Oof. Stick with it, please. I'll try. Yes, times five. The people who are doubters will vote stay at uh, t uh, singles. The people who are believers will just say go to times five. That's that's really all it comes down to. So much fun. Lapa Shining Smear is cool. I respect it, Solomon. What is someone sending me? What's the meme? Name me Senpai. You're... That's very cute, Clark. I'll do that for you. Here, let me finish this lore. Stay singles trust. I will for now. You gotta do a Lapa hunt? I mean, yeah, that is true. I don't know. I don't think I did know that Rhyperior learns pay. That's kind of funny. That is kind of... Is that true, Palakros? I'm going to be totally honest. I did not know that Rhyperior could learn Payday. That's kind of funny. It doesn't get picked up ability, obviously, so it's not like a good picked up Payday here, but with its attached, that, that's kind of funny. I didn't know it learned Payday. That's kind of a good meme. Rhydon does too. Rhydon this dick. <laughs> and nice try. Nice try. Uh, my number one shot. My shiny priority here, bet Adam, is um, number one, Sudowoodo. Number two, Mr. Mime. Number three, Breloom. Number four, Scyther. Number five, Krikatune. That's the priority. Anything but Ponyta I'd be happy with. Uh, yeah, I'm down, Rumel. Right on these nuts. Already told, already did that joke. True, though. Based. Number one side there. Hey, for you, Tharko, I respect it. Let me just leave Link, head back. Go name the Magnemite. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. That's funny, Palakos.
Um, what do I name this? I didn't think I didn't think ahead of time. For Clarko. Oh, oh, I know. Um, there you go. Aren't you glad you asked me to name your Pokemon? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Dark, I'm gonna try to send it back to the right person. It's gotta be bean related. It's gotta be bean related. That's easy. If you single encounter Pokemon, would you counter single encounter? Wait, what? If you. If you, if you get a single encounter shiny Pokemon, would you count it as a single encounter shiny or regular horde? Yeah, if, if it's a single encounter shiny, yeah. I mean, you would say, like, it's not like, it's not a single encounter rarity shiny, but it's like a single encounter, it's still a single encounter shiny, yeah. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? I guess it depends on how you would say it or whatever. I named it Grillin' Beans after Bush's, Bush's Grillin' Beans. Count the method, yeah. It's like, if you got a shiny in a certain way, you count the method, and if you're going for a shiny in a certain way, you count the that, yeah. I guess that it's always the method, yeah, right? Either the method you got it as, or the method you're going for it as. And because we assume that people always go for like the most optimal method to some extent. You didn't wheezing? Nice. Wait, did you- wait, you didn't wheezing? Wait, what, wait, what, wait, what's Simkiller? Wait, is there a price check or something? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what's up, Simkiller? Do you have a wheezing price check you sent me? I'm lost. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go back. You deserve that, Simkiller. Alright, in terms of nicknames. Uh, my wheezing is not nicknamed. Then I've got my high dragon. So my high dragon, my wheezing, and my togekiss. These three are not nicknamed. These three are. Sorry about that, Sim Killer. I got you, dude. I'll go back for you. Sorry about that, man. Wheezing honeydew? Hell yeah. Okay. I'll do that really quick. Why is RP getting so cheap? Why is RP getting so cheap? Uh, event season's over. It makes sense. Event season over and it's 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 not gonna come back for a really long time. It makes sense why it would get cheap now. Oh, is Togekiss Hodges? I'm an idiot. Never mind. Togekiss is named. Okay, someone said Weezing Honeydew. That's a good name. I like that. Thank you for that, Sim Killer. That's cute. I'm gonna go do a few more while I'm on Charm and Dono. I'm gonna go do my uh, honey trees. What's up, Slinging Slasher? Shut up! Don't you don't use a nickname as a way to get out of here, Sim Killer. Stop! Don't you dare! Shut up! Get out of here, okay? Oh, I have to trade you back to Salamence, correct, Clarko? Okay, yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna let me remind me after the honey tree run, so I don't want to. I'd, I'd rather just not. I don't like owing people anything, so I'd rather just get it taken care of. What if we run diddle boxes? But if I sell diddle box, we have the cash first, last trade. It's up to you, man. Whatever you guys agree on. I feel like it's a good scamming thing that people will do. Um, it's against the rules to scam, right? I think I think I have a video talking about it actually. If you, if you um. If you message the person and say, hey, I'm pretty sure, to be fair, I think the devs said they won't, they're going to stop banning for this though, right? But if you message the person and say, hey, I'm going to trade you 200k for a diddle box, correct? Question mark. And they say, correct. If they scam you, they can get banned. If you get chat confirmation, like always make it really clear. Um, also, just trade with people in my Discord. People, in my, It's really unlikely someone in my Discord is scammed because like, if someone in my Discord is scamming, they'll get banned for the Discord. So like, the, like they can only scam once. And it's like just it's also like in my Discord, it's likely that you're um I've I've bought in so many Ditto boxes, you know, I've done a full eight hundred or whatever, and I've only gotten scammed once. And that person got banned and I got my Pokean back. Yeah, I mean that's I think that's honestly decently reasonable, Danny. 
Yeah. Uh, but if, if the Ditto sell, I mean, you can trade, like, what is it, 15k Pokeon? Yeah, a scam for 240k when you're gonna, like, 100% get banned is just so ridiculous. It's just such a waste. Um, dude, I'm happy to, I'm happy to have been helpful, Zay. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for taking the time to come in here just to say that, man. You can trade, like, 15k per or whatever it is, like, per 5 Ditto, but that, it really just slows down the trade. It is annoying. Some people argue it doesn't slow down the trade. And it like technically can, but whenever you, technically it cannot, but if you're if you're like perfect and fast enough. But if, if why would you why would you implement a new risk to possibly slow down the trade? It's just so silly. People always argue, like, oh don't do that. Like it, it or uh, it doesn't slow down the trade. Like it objectively does. Like when you add like a new mechanic to like weave in, it objectively slows down the trade. But as long as like I'm typically a rap fan. Like rap is like I pretty much solely listen to rap, except for um on stream. Listen, so there's, there's no good like copyright free rap, you know, um, there's, but there's a lot of good like copyright free like Wubbers and Electronica and like EDM and yada yada. I do enjoy. Oh, my second favorite genre. Do we love Sosa? Yeah, based. Let me give... Uh, to trade that Salamence back. Do you just want it? I can just trade it to you now, Clarko. I see you in game over there, right? Can I just trade that? Do you have a party space? Uh, it depends, Alpha. I, I, so everybody's fucking signed to like a label. I, I don't know, man. It's pretty brutal. I mean, Tech Nine's a classic. I, I'm, I'm pretty. I'd say I'm pretty experienced in rip and rap slash hip hop. Yeah. Um. Tech Nine's a classic. Gotta give him the. It's crazy. He's like 59 or some shit now. He's like old now, dude. It's wild. Favorite rapper? My favorite rapper of all time is gonna be like a really niche guy. Graydon Square is my favorite of all time. Uh, Graydon Square is my favorite of all time. Uh, number two is probably NF, who's like the big meme right now. He's blown up so much over the past few years, which is which is, it's fucking deserved. Um. Number three is probably Token. Token's another guy who's been... NF's been blowing the fuck up. Token's been blowing the fuck up. Really happy for both of them. Uh, number four. I mean, at some point, J. Cole has to come in. J. Cole is really good. Really popular for a reason. Um, I really like Fora. Age Kennedy kind of niche, but I like him. Uh, what's the guy I'm thinking of? Um, it's like Chris something. Chris Rivers. Yeah, I think it's Chris Rivers. Uh, Cam Meekins. Oh, I'm sorry. I get it. Like, I, yeah, I, that's fine. Um, I have a lot of hot rap takes that are just gonna, which is like fine. That's how it's gonna be. Um, J. Cole obviously has the longer career. And like, if you wanna argue, if, okay, once again, Evan, I'm not doing like a, I'm not arguing best rappers of all time. It's not an objective list. These are my favorites, right? If I were to sit down and make an objective list, J. Cole is definitely over token it up. These are just my favorites, right? It's personal preference, my man. Um, Pac or Biggie? I'm a Biggie fan, but I respect Pac. Taking the piss? Yeah, fair. I don't talk about hip-hop too much on stream, but I do... I fucking love it. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Young M.A.? When was her last... I really like Young M.A. She's actually really good. Um, and for other, like, female rappers, Queen Latifah... I just like Queen Latifah, dude. It's a basic bitch take, but Queen Latifah actually has probably... She's probably my favorite female rapper of all time. To this day. Like, Unity and fucking, um... Just another day or whatever. And then, uh, who are the new people? 
The new girlies popping off. Megan the Stallion. You can meme on Megan the Stallion, like her like topics and like her. You can meme on her for whatever. Her rapping abilities are ridiculous. Her her lyric her like lyricism and her fucking flow is insane. Um, though in her pronunciations, you can meme if you don't like Megan the Stallion. I get it, but holy fuck, her rapping ability is ridiculous. And then uh the like project. I don't know if I know project. Young MA is so fucking good. The brain of a fart, though? Kind of harsh. I don't know. I wouldn't say that, personally. If you, just, if you don't like her, that's fine, but... Snow the... I do know him. Snow the product. I like him. I have a couple... I don't know him that well, but I have. A, I know that I have a couple songs on my, on my playlist. Or her. I didn't even know it was a her. <laughs> Snow the product. There you go. Snow the product. I like her. Uh, what's the... Uh, what's the song I'm thinking of? Uh, this girl is so fucking good. Uh, what am I thinking of? Did... I never remember this girl's name. Uh, Janelle Monet. This girl is fucking awesome. I don't know anybody talk about her. Janelle Monet. Her uh, Django Jane song. She's fucking awesome. She has some crazy talent. I don't think I ever hear her name brought up. Maybe I'm just out of the fucking conversation. Tara Reed, I know the name. I'm not like up to date as much as I wish I was. I basically just see names on songs. Dude, I'm not even okay. I'm not even the one banning you. Firstly, I'm not the one banning you. Secondly, if you're like threatening, you're gonna cry off getting temporarily timed out in my chat. It's okay. Chill a little, you know. Um, it even metal? I think no, I think it's a I get it's a good mix, honestly, Clark. I respect it. Karash boo. I don't know that I'll keep it in mind. This is, wait, I when I looked them up, I don't see is that a D's nuts joke? Caribou. I like the name. Caribou, I'll keep it in mind. Those are timeouts? Me and all the mods. Rock, rap, drill, and hip-hop. Listen to? Yeah. <laughs> Cara Booty's nuts. Shut up. <laughs> They're so dumb. Um, I'm gonna, dude, I don't even... Dude, I'm going to be totally honest with you, Rabby. Uh, Rabby Black says, Are you ever going to make a video about the craftable items in-game? Like medicine, for example. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I have played this game for over 8,000 hours. For over 10 years i have no fucking idea the crafting system works in this game i i i have no idea i don't care haven't bothered to learn it i don't i i, I would bet that like one out of maybe ten thousand, one out of a hundred thousand pokemon players know what the crafting system know that it even exists like it is crazy it, it is so it is such an underused uh system i'm sure it's good and has its uses and like especially like when the market is in certain ways but i i don't even know how it works dude i'll be honest you're too nice to me, Crow Terry. What's up? Ever hear about Ligma? Ligma nuts? <laughs> Most obvious. Guys, you gotta, if you're gonna do a D's nuts joke, it's gotta be original. Like, we're not, we're not in 2012, guys. I'm not, I'm not your dad browsing emails, right? Like, you have to, like, I've been on the internet for a long time. You gotta do a really good D's nuts joke. Thank you, Rumel. Well, now I gotta make a video, Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a good do me. We're not in 20. I know it's it, I forget too, dude. Shit, I'm old, dude. I get it. How's your day been? It has been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Argued with some people about about whether Bottinger is an issue or not in Pokemon again, which is that's that's the most frustrating part of my day. But who that's oh my god, what a small problem, you know? <laughs> like if that's the ooh. Yeah, babe, had a really tough day. Had to uh call someone Dan's game and chat again. Tough day at work. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm doing pretty good, dude, if that's my complaint. I'm doing, I'm doing fine, dude. Honey, Honey's a good nickname. Honeydew's a good, a good nickname. Cute. It's kind of basic, but I like naming stuff after. Trailer Trash Girly Pop. I fucking love that name. Um, That's a good rapper name. That's awesome. I like, I, it's pretty basic, but I like naming my stuff after, after fruit. Like blueberry, honeydew. Hopefully, niche fruits like mango. That'd be cute. 
kind of a good meme. Rick and your team have a level 50, but they level 50 when they level 50. You need, yes, they need at least level 50 because the, yeah, it'll scale them down to level 50. But it won't scale them up. Yeah, you need them to be at least, at least level 50. Excuse me. Uh, shiny priority in this spot is number one, Sudowoodo, number two, Mr. Mime, number three, Breloom, four, Scyther, five, Krikatoon. Uh, for what purpose? Like, if I'm looking for, like, a shiny flip, Jack D, or what do you mean? Yeah, flips. Um, for flips, I just looked up a bunch of different stuff. I have a here. I have a video on it. Shiny flipping Pokemon. I think watching my video is the best way to like. All right, yo, what's up? My Shut up! Oh my god, cringe voice. Watching my video is probably the best. Um, this is the dumbest joke. Lift like a dad. Uh, watching my video is probably the best way to like see all the different. You look up a bunch of different stuff. When shiny flipping. Look for males. Yeah, stick to males is important. And my, it, it, you can, it, yeah, I would stick to males. Female shiny flips are way harder because people don't. Unless like a rapid ash, like a really common shiny someone might breed, but. Yeah, that that's why like you just skip that. I think everybody skips that gym. Maybe it's some simple to do it nowadays with more time or whatever, but Ever heard of eating, eating these nuts, eating this dick? Be in ten minutes, mate. Did I already did I already get times? Or do we even think it would? Nice try. Failed these nuts jokes are a minimum ten minute timeout. Thank you, Rumel. Uh not because it's it's just like if, if, if I don't punish you for making a, a failed these nuts joke, you'll just spam them over and over again until you eventually get me on it. So you have to be punished to some extent. There has to be some sort of, there has to be a game balancing to it, you know? So many timeouts today, there really has been a lot. My stream in general just has a lot of fucking timeouts, doesn't it? Wowzers. That is, yeah. But like... Think about how rarely we rarely, rarely permaban people. Like, how many permabans have we seen on stream? Probably less than ten over like three, three and a half years. Less than five. Like, permabans are really, really rare in this chat, which is a good thing. Um, I don't, I don't, I really don't want to have to permaban anybody if possible, right? Like, I pre way prefer timeouts. Like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I yeah, and like, dude, I I do think like I always say, bans are important. Like, I I I dude, I I ban a shit ton of people from my YouTube comments. It's actually crazy because I just, I there's so much negativity in YouTube comments and like, little tips, little advice, little whatever corrections are good and fine, but. There are people, if you're just negative, and you, like every comment's negative, I just eventually, I just permit, like it's not worth it. It hurts my ability to make content. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube stream chat's good. It's like YouTube comments gets, yeah. Cause it's easier to leave a negative comment on a YouTube video where I don't have the chance to directly respond or reply versus on a stream. Uh, thank you so much. I did, I was a little late. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Yo, Spec, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Uh, they can still see my videos. The, so the way a YouTube comment ban works is they can still see my videos and see all my content. That that would be fucked if that didn't. Yeah, um, they just can't. They they just can't leave comments on my videos. That's all it is. My next cat, Cat Trowski. <laughs> I mean, I love the name. I'd be honored, but it's crazy. Uh, what legendaries are in rotate? We could ask chat. I don't even know. So that's a, that's a chat would save the day on that one. <laughs> Mr. Jackin831. <laughs> What's up, dude? Can I call you Jake instead? Jakin. Uh, same odds. Yeah, permamans are really, really rare. We, I do not permaman people very often. Except for in one thing. You, YouTube comments get permaman the most. 
for sure. Uh, Articuno and Raikou. Thank you, chat. But like stream bans, really, really rare. Really, I, well, yeah, I, think, I've, I think I've done like five or ten stream permabans in like three years of streaming. Apart from British people, yeah, they get they get banned on site. Yeah, <laughs> permad. Um, true. Farted. <laughs> Come on. You can't just type farted in chat. Intellectual chat. Yeah. <laughs> farted. Nice. What are the reasons for ribbons? They're just fun. They're just visuals. I mean, ribbons are just as valuable as shinies, right? In terms of like, there's just visuals. Obviously, people, you can pay Pokemon or sell po shinies for Pokemon, but like, it's just like a fun little visual. Uh, yeah, dude, I've been playing Pokemon Showdown on and off since it released in like 2011. Like, Showdowns, I think anyone who's been playing Pokemon for a long time must have played a fair bit of Showdown at some point or another, you know? Like, it's a requirement to be involved in Pokemon, but maybe I'm just, I don't know. Um, dude, welcome, FMJ. So, I love the game. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, first Google it, and if you can't find an answer, then ask me. I appreciate it, man. Pat loves a well-planned D's Nuts joke. I don't wouldn't say I love it, but it's better than a bad D's Nuts joke, I guess. <laughs> love you, Clarko. Uh, the game will physically not let you breed a shiny with a non-shiny. It's a good question. I think I asked the same exact thing when I came back to the game. Yeah, that's that's the goal, FMJ. I appreciate it, man. I always say, like, I really try to, like, especially with, like, search engine optimization, like, my titles, I really try to um, answer every question that could pop into your brain while playing like, with, with videos. Um, <laughs> true, Clarko. Kind of based. Uh, but sometimes there's, like, small niche stuff that's good to ask in stream, which I appreciate. Yes, yes, exactly, Blue Mage. Uh, if you if you look, well, if you Google um, if you Google Shiny Breeding Guide Pokemo, I should have a couple videos on it. Shiny Breeding Guide Pokemo. That might be like a specific kind of Google you wouldn't think to do. You know, it, it's hard to like unironically get the right like words that would be Googled, right? Um, here's that video if you're interested. Um. I wouldn't call it racism, but what's what's it called? Um, I guess technically, what's it where what's it where you uh don't want to breed? This is an insane thing to Google. Uh, you it's technically is it eugenics? Yeah, is that is 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 the fact that you can't breed a shiny Pokemon with a non-shiny technically eugenics in Pokemon? Maybe I mean. Who's to make that argument? You know, <laughs> that's a, you guys can make write your papers on that. Um, yeah, eugenics is when like you like try to like clean the breeding pool, and it's generally very frowned upon, which is you know pretty fair, right? Like it's just a little too logical and precise for human behavior, which makes sense. Uh, my stream actually taught something. What? What the hell did I come back to? We're just talking about eugenics in Pokemon. It's not a big deal, Solaris. What's up? I'm just like, what's up, dude? Normal stream conversation, you know. Dude, okay, wait a minute. Can I sit here and talk about... Can I sit here and rant to rave about shiny shiny Tangrowth? Beautiful fucking underrated shiny. Super sick looking. Great green. Um, uh, Pat, do you think Sableye will be a good Pokemon for raids? Sableye was like the best Pokemon during all of the... Little New Year event raids, it would really shock me if it's not good again during permanent raids. Um, it would, dude, it might be one of the secret best money makers right now to just breed a shit ton of good hidden ability. It needs hidden ability access, but like just breed a bunch of good hidden ability access Sableyes now and hold on to them. I, you, don't, you don't know how long enough to hold on to them, and maybe they're bad. Maybe they won't be good, but like it's a risk, right? It's not guaranteed money, but it could be insane. Uh, is that the little oh, teleport mechanics for Ken and Jodo? Wait, what do you mean the teleport? Like the um, like the gym, the gym teleport portals. That's, that's good to know. That makes sense. I, that makes sense. But it's good to know. Just shut up, swear to. 
What's Sableye good for? Sableye was the best Pokemon for raids. It was good for everything. It was good for um, specifically using Prankster to set up Light Screen and Reflect, and then also get off like Will O' Wisps with priority. Uh, what's up, Slugma? <laughs> get out of here, Solomon. Yeah, Shiny Tangela and Tangrowth are awesome looking. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Thanks for the... I appreciate that update, Patel. That, that is, like, legit good to know. I believe it. Yo, good luck to you, Blue Mage. Okay, his name is literally Slugma Nuts. I, you can't... When I address him in chat as either Slugma or Nuts, that doesn't count as getting me on a D's Nuts joke. I have to refer to him in some way. It's, this is not a cheat code. It's, it's not... It, it does not count. Don't say it counts. It does not count, chat. Uh, Prankster, yeah, exactly. German. Sableye was just so good at like being a support Pokemon for raids. It was the best solo cure. It counts. Pepe Laugh. Pepe Laugh is so good to like piss off. I love when like Pepe Laugh was like the emote to piss off the streamers. Like Pepe, we don't do not have Pepe Laugh, but I should add that if not. Do I have some variant of it? Why oh, Pepe Laugh? Yeah. That shit's funny. Yeah, it doesn't count unless the streamer says it out loud without realizing. Yes. Yes. If I if I call it on the joke, if, if I know it's an obvious... Yeah. Thank you. We got, we got the ref. We got the Rumel, the D's, D, yep. D's Nuts joke ref here to call the plays. The play-by-play. Uh, what IVs? Really just like 25 plus HP. It's all the defense. It's all defense. And, and like, uh, yeah. 25 plus HP defense, special defense. And like, correct. It's some sort of defensive nature. Maybe speed if possible. It doesn't, it doesn't really need special attack or attack. It just needs... It's a, it's a tank. It's a full tank. He's not qualified. I beg to differ. Rumel's pretty qualified for this. He's got me on... He's got me probably more than most people on these Nuts jokes and Rick Rolls. He's got experience. Let him play, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so dumb. That's a bullshit call, ref. <laughs> On a D's nuts joke. He's American in the bin. Oh, no. Yo, congratulations, Porky Snorkel. What was the species, man? What was the Pokemon? Big congrats, dude. I need more water. I did go grab water in a quick sec, guys. Machoke? Dude, good. Uh, Machoke on this dick. If, if it's a... Just, just in case... Just in case it's a D's nuts joke, I gotta cover my bases. Uh, but otherwise, congratulations on this on the shiny machoke, man. That's a cool one. But it ain't your okay. I have to I have to cover my bases. <laughs> I have to good save. Yeah, 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 I gotta watch out just in case. Just in case. Uh, you got four shinies during a two week war. That's un that is in really really good light years. Light years. Congratulations, dude. That's very good. What'd you get? Fucking MVP, man. There are kids playing Pokemon that don't know what a Rick Roll is? Possible. There's the, the Pokemon community is generally pretty older, but... Um, isn't it more efficient to do Sweet Scent? So Sweet Scent is really good because you can get times five hordes of Pokemon, but you can't pick what Pokemon you get, and you can't get, like, you can't Sweet Scent all Pokemon, right, Blue Mage? So there's different rarities of Shiny Hunts, Blue Mage. Um... I recommend checking out my uh I need to redo my shiny hunting guide to be fair, but like if I were to if I were to sweet scent here, I, I can just show you. All I would get here, right, is uh Staravia and Cricketune, and that's it. I can't get oh, there's four rare the reason why there's rare shinies is because you can't get all shinies through hordes, right? So to like for example, um the best way to like get shiny Mr. Mime is by single encountering back and forth. And like this bot has um four different rares as single encounters, which is really, really, really good. It has Breloom, Scyther, Sudowoodo, and Mr. Mime. Um, oh, there, there might be points out here, depending, depending on like the day or nighttime, Tom, maybe. Um, but yeah, you, you can't hoard for every... Welcome back, Kaylee. You can't hoard for every Pokemon. That's like, if you want a shiny Charizard, you can't just go hoard for it. You have to go egg it for 2,000 hours and spend 120 million Poke in. That's why shiny Charizard is so fucking rare and like desired, you know? Um... Yeah, the reason why the reason why rare shinies exist is because certain shinies are really, really, really hard to get. Like, different different species, different Pokemon have different rarities. 
Um, generally, like, but the thing is, like, most players don't have to worry about it, right? Like, there is a lot of really good times five horde near a PC shiny hunts. And, like, most players um, should just do those. Those are fantastic hunts. I love those hunts. Um, you don't need to do, like, rare hunts. Uh, this spot specifically does not have Umbreon. It's because this route is really fucking weird, Prince. Um, let's see. Let's see what the Pokedex says. Right? Well, I'm around one route. It's in Jody. Yeah, it's on route 210. Maybe it used to have Umbreon. I've heard, I've heard a couple people say that. Maybe it used to or something like that. Uh, I believe so, Simkiller. Farfetch D's nuts. Is, there's no way. This, this would be the worst D's nuts joke possible if this is a D's nuts joke. This route is so confusing. This route is confusing because the spawns on this part of the route and the north part are different, which is very, like, not many routes in game do that. It's very, very weird. TwitchCon hype. Are, are you the guy that said farted and then you can't <laughs> came back after a 10 minute timeout to, to put that emote? You're crazy. These nuts paranoia hit different. Hey, you know what they say, man. Gotta be prepared. LMAO, yeah, that's me. It's <laughs> a good meme. I respect it. That's kind of funny. Uh, not bad, I guess. Not bad. God damn it, Kelly. 500 Lepos, good luck to you, man. Good luck to you. Brian is real, yeah. I think it ends up costing like 3 million Pokeyen in Lepos on average for a Lepa shunt. It's, t it's, it's like, just adds up. If you like go do like Miltank, for example, right? And Miltank's like, what, is it 80 20 now? So if you if you have like an 80% chance for Raticate and like 20% for Miltank, you have to do that hunt, what, five? Is it five times on average? So like, that's five times three. That's 15 mil Pokeyen on average for one shiny mil tank, plus all the hours to hunt it. That's fucking hard, dude. You know? Uh, best times five horde shinies that not many people would go for. Electros is up there, but it's really hard now. It's like an 80 20 split. Um, Vault Orb is kind of underhunted nowadays. Uh, I think Tangela is underhunted. Arbok is underhunted. Really good shiny. Um, what else? Good shiny. Times five horde under hunted. Maybe like Magmar, but I feel like a fair people go for Magmar is pretty good, but it, it, it matter of how many people go. For, is, is it under hunted? That's the I, I don't know. Uh, Coughing was under hunted for a while, but I feel like I've kind of we, we kind of uh, hyped up the love for it. Under hunted lanterns kind of under hunted. Times five. Delibird gets fairly hunted. Underhunted, really good times. Probably, but La La I would say Laron, but Laron's been getting more love recently, I feel like. I think Nose Pass actually has a times five horde, though, doesn't he? Yeah, Nose Pass is a really underhunted shiny. That's actually a really good example of one. Yeah, Nose Pass is a super underhunted one. That's a good, that's a good one. Sand Slash. I'd say Sand Slash is a fairly fair bit hunted, but I could be wrong. Yeah, Nose Pass is like one of the most underrated hunted, hunted yeah, that's what in the game, I'd say. Uh, what's up, Clarko? Pony Todd, get out of here. Pony Todd, Rap Ash, one of the most common shinies in the game. Nose Pass, best in slot. I respect it, dude. Magmar's head like a butt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does. Um, do you see the change where, the, where to see? Do you change where to see? I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I feel like we just haven't been keeping up to date with the upcoming catch events. At that, like, top events. Yeah, like, it just says, yeah, it, it, it's just a tough thing to keep up with. He's like manually put them in, put them in, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, I kind of agree, Cosmic. Yeah, sorry about that, Tom. That is kind of funny with the stats, James. Yo, Trusty Crab. I like the name. Thanks for the follow, dude. Sableye. I'd say Sableye is decently appropriately hunted, but I see an argument for it. It's not, you know, it's just all based on like anecdotal evidence and like what I just what I see. So, you know, what's there's no hard evidence here. Like, oh, that's statistically underhunted, you know, like this is what I see. The longest going for a shiny. So my first shiny, uh, my first shiny, I went 2200 hours played dry in game. It was an estimated around 300,000 encounters, but it's really hard to estimate. I really tried to underestimate those encounters because um, I'd rather underestimate than overestimate. It's really, really hard to estimate because encounter counters didn't exist back then. And then also all of it was done single encountering and a lot of it was done single encountering while XP training and EV training because that was like what you did back then. Um, but I would say an estimated around 300,000 encounters, 2,200 hours played. Um, probably 18 to 1,900 of those were spent single encounter shunting. No lures back then. Hope that helps. Yeah, I, I went I went super, super dry for my first, for my first shiny. And then my second one um, was a shiny shuckle in the safari zone at like 106 encounters that I caught on the fourth ball, which was insane. Kaylee, what are you, what are you screaming about? What do you, what, why are you, where's my mods? Why are you screaming? Next just everyone set, catch it. Okay, I, I respect, that's kind of a funny meme, I get it. But why, you don't gotta spam. Chill. I respect that meme, but you can't spam a bunch for it. I didn't. I did not get a reaction video for that first. I wasn't doing content at that time. Um, I mean, I was doing RuneScape content to be fair, but at that time, but yeah. My first shiny was a stun fist, which is when I specifically I ended up just doing times five forwards and hunting for it. It took me like eight years. I started in 20. I started playing in 2013. I didn't get my first shiny until I think 20, uh, 2021. It took me eight years to get my first shiny in Pokemon. What are we on phase 46 for Sudowoodo as a team? Yeah, dude. A lot of people have gotten, people have, Team Mister has shunted this spot so much. Uh, I mean, it's really, it's a boring answer, Clark. It's just personal preference, obviously. I would personally probably evolve it into a Magnemite. Use it, try to use it in like NU or something. Or it might be in UU right now, to be fair. Yeah, what you got at? Another another price check? I need to get some water. My throat really hurts. Um, if you have if another, uh, whisper in that, me that price check if you have one, Admiral. I will, uh, I'll be right back, guys. Give me one sec.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. Needed some water. Oh, my music stop. What the heck? You? Oh, there it is. Fine, never mind. <laughs> never mind, Roger. Good. Okay, I need to turn my whispers on. Sorry, Admiral. Okay, should be good now, Admiral. I appreciate waiting, dude. Alright, price check on this. Okay, this is a pretty easy one. Okay. I would definitely project this as a Meowth. There's no like... 2024... Yeah, okay. It's a pretty simple price check. Meowth. I would do... Did I just board on accident? Yeah, I did. 31 speed. 25 uh, attack. I would just do this. Um. Yeah. So the way, I would, yeah, the way I'd approach it, I would just do this, and I would go. I would undercut this one. Obviously, this one's too good. I would go 30k. That's pretty. It's a pretty easy one. I would do. Um. It might be a little under. You could do 30 to 35k. These are two times 31, so you're reaching like. Yeah. I would do 30 to 35k. 30 to 35k, in my opinion, Admiral. Why the bonks? No poop talk, okay? Too too much poop talk in chat. That's that's that it's gotta be some bonks. Doing us dirty? That was me who Rumel didn't even do those. I came back a little early and I did those timeouts before I even sat down. That was all me. You guys can blame me for that one. No bathroom talk? Okay, it's like nerd emoji. Um sorry chat, no bathroom talk. <laughs> Come on. I feel like that's a fair not no bathroom talk but like let's not talk about the how our poops are like it's gotta draw a line somewhere you know that's very sweet duplosion a total timed out counter each stream that is pretty funny that's kind of a good meme okay clark like dude i love you so much clarko i don't think you can say that Let's just keep it a little, little on the hinges, okay? Little under the what's up, Schweppes? Little on the, little on the hinges, okay? What happened to Clarko? Nothing. He's chilling. Live another day. I was blocked for speaking the truth. Kind of a good meme. Sure. I mean, sure. <laughs> Why not? Went to the shot. I'm not even going to argue it. Sure. If that's why, then fair enough. Okay, wait a minute. Where are my... I just had a, a brain blast. Where are, my, uh, where are my manga nerds at, dude? I finally... I haven't not brought this up yet. I finally started reading Berserk chat. Um, I read book one. I think I've seen, to be fair, I think I've seen like most of what's happened in book one, except for like one section. Um, because even that I may have actually, I'm not sure. Cause I've seen, as I've seen the original anime from like 99 or whatever. And then I, I've seen the, like the th shitty, I've seen one of the, th the shitty 3d animated ones or whatever. Um, but they st I still know the story to a decent extent because of those though. Um, but the timeline is so strange. It's so good. I'm, I feel like I'm not like it's it's the crazy thing about the um. So it's, yes, that's what exactly. Jade, that's what I think is what well, tree. Um, the crazy thing about so I'm not like an art guy, dude. I don't know. I don't know shit about art. I'm not good at recognizing good art. I don't know anything about art. It is inhuman to to like flip the the pages of Berserk and like read through Berserk. And like, eventually you, you just stop and you realize, and you're like, dude, the sheer amount of like blackness, the sheer amount of ink that this guy poured onto these pages is just insane. Like you start, you start flipping through all the pages and you just start to realize like how there's almost no white. Like he actually, it's, it's ridiculous how much time this man must have spent drawing. It's just, it's just unfathomable. Like, I, I literally, it's so crazy. Um, I, I don't really read much manga or whatever, but, um, I, I only, like, I literally am, I just want to read Berserk so bad. That's, I, I, I bit the bullet, dude. I, so I read the, I read the first, um, 
I'm, bu I'm buying the deluxe set because I'm a fucking... <laughs> Dude, I, if I'm going to read it, I might as well read it in style, okay? So I bought the first deluxe book. And I think the second one is... I, I read the first deluxe one. I read this book in like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, it's it's a really quick read. But it's... But then even after... I don't... I never do this. I don't usually care. But even after I like... Nor I flip through... I flip through the chapters and like re-looked at... Re-read certain parts and re looked it's It's so good, dude. It's so ridiculous. Um, the first four, you're fucking like a little, that's awesome. Um, the second one is like downstairs in Casey's mail locker right now. Um, and I'm excited to read that. I'll probably try to read that today or, or, or soon. Um, I, dude, I, it's so good. It's, I know most of the story so far. Stop yapping pop lores. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I know most of the story, at least up until this point. There's a lot of parts that I don't know. Um, it's so good, dude. Lord time. Thank you, chat. I'm really excited to read book number two, man. There's like what? There's four. Is there 14 books? 14 deluxe books? I believe. There's 14. I think that I think there's 14 deluxe books. Yeah, it's it's like a long story. Um, how many berserk deluxe books? I think there's 14. Yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, 14. 14 berserk deluxe edition. Go find the list of them. The first four volumes. They're so good, dude. I hate how expensive manga is, but honestly, the deluxe edition, it's not even like, I think, um, I think at this point, the deluxe edition is literally just the same price as like, cause like, aren't mangas usually like 11 bucks a piece? Something like that. They're pretty fucking expensive for how fast you read them, but it's all the art and stuff, obviously. Um, but the deluxe editions, I think if you buy them on Amazon, I think it's like, yeah, dude, the full set on a shelf Yes, it's like it's it's so much money, dude. Um, the the full set of the Berserk books is like five hundred bucks or some shit. I think it's cheaper if you buy them all on Amazon or whatever. Um, but like on Amazon, I'm pretty sure they're I'm pretty sure they're like thirty bucks a piece on Amazon. It kind of it kind of changes here and there though. Would you have another price check, Admiral? I, I got you one sec. Um. I feel like, yeah, I feel like manga, like normal manga nowadays is like 11 bucks a piece or whatever. 8 to 14. That makes sense. Um, and like the deluxe, the deluxe books are really fucking nice quality. They're 30 bucks a piece and it's three chapters in one. So it literally is like, I feel like it's the same price to get the deluxe ones. If you buy them for 30 a piece versus like just the normal chapters for 10 a piece, right? This one's stumping me hard. The shelter. Let's see. Adamant. Uh, hidden ability access. Is that relevant? I don't think so, right? No. Um. Okay. I see you're, I see what you're working with. Okay. Whether I would price check this. You get an encounter first. I'm gonna count this. No, I, no, nah, okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm fortunate. Um. I would do this like this. I would do. Do you do it as a group or shelter? Because it's. I I might actually try to do this as a shelter. This is this is a weird one actually. I would try to sell this as a shelter because this is one breed. This is one breed actually. So to be totally honest, Admiral, what I would what I would do if I were you, is I would buy a breeder for this. So I would buy a what is it water sea. If I were you, if you buy one breeder for this and do one breed, it's going to make it so much better. Um, no, Steel Link is the one that like makes... It's hidden ability is, is Overcoat, right? Steel Link is not the hidden ability. That's the good one, right? Overcoat's not relevant. 
Um, yeah, I feel like I wouldn't like JoJo either, JW Tree. So what I would do, um, no, you're fine, J Back. No, you're just asking. You, you, no, you ask. I, I, when you ask questions like that, that's you're like, you're like, wait a minute, isn't it question mark or am I wrong? That, the way you phrase that is perfect. Like asking questions is awesome. It tilts me when people like assert things and are wrong. Kind of frustrates me, but you, you're perfect, dude. Um, so I would buy a breeder if I were you, Admiral. Um, I would go buy a, like a 31 speed, 22 plus, so you can medium roll 20 plus, and then just do like 20, probably 25 here if possible. Water, sea, male. This is what I would do if I were you. I would go buy like, yeah, like this ditto is perfect. I would go buy this ditto. Wait, 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 stop. Don't actually, don't actually. Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't, you have to brace the, you can't brace the, you need to keep, keep the nature. Um, don't let me, don't let me trick you. So let's try this. Why is it so expensive? Oh man. It's probably still worth it though. Is it? I don't know. That's an expensive Kindler. I mean, otherwise you just try to sell this for like, this just goes for like 10k or something. It just, it just, if you breed it, you might be able to make it really, I would breed it. Um, I'll actually refund your, I'm going to, I'm going to refund that price check because I, I, I would just breed it. Um, that's what I would do. I recommend trying to get a breeder for it. But make sure you carry over that adamant nature. And, and keep it a uh, keep it a shelter. I mean, it's female, so. Yeah, I would I would try to breed it. I th I think that's just like it won't sell for much unless you breed it. But if you breed it and it comes out good, it could just it could sell for so much more, you know. So do I reject one of yours. You should get the refund on the points. Oh, uh, just for everybody. Yeah, I, I have some friends that love JoJo. I like, yeah, but I haven't really, I haven't given it a shot. Maybe I would like it, but I feel like look outward looking in. I don't think I would like it, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, I I respect Boruto being fourteen bucks. Yeah, pretty lame. I love you, everyone's like five USD, dude. I dude, right now I've I've been fucking memeing on this. If you want to fucking travel to Japan, right now is the best time to. Do it. It's so fucking good, dude. The the yen is really weak right now, and the US dollar is doing pretty good. Um, if you're like a US nerd who wants to travel, if you want to be a fucking weeb and travel to Japan, go on a shopping trip, dude. It's it's so it's the perfect time. Also, it fucking helps their economy. If you take your US money and you fucking convert it to yen and you fucking spend it on their shops and spend it on their fucking goods and services, uh, it, it helps them. Like, that's why, like, tourism is one of the... Tourism is, like, one of the best ways to, like, save a fucking a market's economy or whatever, right? Japan right now? Yeah, it, may, it, may, it makes sense. Like, it's, it's a good time to... It's good for everybody. Tourism is, like... I know tourism can be annoying, and maybe I'm just... I'm just a fucking US nerd, so I don't know how, how annoying it truly can be, but... Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm around DC, so people come to DC all the time. Around, not... I would hate to live in DC. I, hate, I don't like... I'm scared of cities. I'm just a fucking coward. I don't know, dude. I hate tall buildings. I don't like crowds of people. Just a fucking gamer, dude. Um... Mountain... Yeah, I feel like the... You always hear about the Japan countryside. Seems beautiful. Um, there's a... Fuck. Some guy did a, a YouTube video covering a uh, a Japanese PS1 game. I always forget the name. It's like Batsu no Yoko. No, it's not it at all. Uh, Japanese PS1 game countryside. It's just, it's like a comfy, like, Animal Crossing. Boko, Boko, Boku no Natsu, I'm, Natsu, I'm, gonna, I'm butchering this. Boku no Natsu, Natsusumi. Boku, Boku no Natsusumi. It's like so unintuitive for me. Um, but it's like a game about like a kid, like just living in the Japanese countryside. And it's like a really cute game and it's like so beautiful. 
Shut up, Korean troll. What are we? What is it? 2012 Korean? Yeah, Boku no Natsium. Natsiasumi. It's so hard to say for me. Had to take the bait, yeah. I, I was stuttering Boku, but I mean, yeah, fair. Um, Or Haunted, maybe. I don't know. I feel like that's a huge thing in like, and like from what I've heard, obviously only like just being a fucking American, from what I've heard, just like Japanese countryside lifestyle is like so idealized and it's so like, it's seen as like a beautiful whimsical thing. I mean, which to me it does, it seems cool. Obviously I'm sure it's not exactly like that, but like how many anime movies are like in like a Japanese countryside, like Spirited Away, right? Like all like, like uh, what's the other one? Um, what's the, is it Summer's Game? What's that one? That one's very good. I didn't finish it, sadly. What am I thinking of? Anime, movie, Summer Wars is close enough. Um, I feel like there's so many anime movies that are just like in the Japanese countryside. Yeah, for sure. I, I want to go to buy. I want to go to go on a shopping trip, dude. Fucking buy video games in Japan. I'm, I'll, I'll be totally fucking frank, dude. So into me. I mean, yeah, for sure. But it's like, it's like, it's why it's like, it's like a grass is greener thing. It's like idealized for my, and like, obviously you live in Japan, so I'm sure it's like idealized, but like in reality, it's probably not that good, right? Like it's, it's like the, oh, it's like a comfy, quiet life or whatever, right? But there's a lot of negatives that go into that as well. I mean, that's just, yeah. I mean, it's cheap. It's cheaper than ever right now is what I'm saying though, Arno. Like right now it's the, it's the cheapest time it's ever been to travel to Japan because of the yen. Uh, what's up, Claude? Watch some street drifting. Based. Yeah, that's just like, re honestly, like, that's really where I got most of my uh, Japanese culture understanding from uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, true and real, based. That movie is insane. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's so dumb. Dumb in the best way. Uh, good for you, Alpha, dude. I respect it, man. Oh, welcome back, Claude. Sweet delight, okay. No, I know. Okay. I'm. I. Sorry. I just. I took what you said and ran with it with something else, Largo. You're fine. You're, I know you're a car guy. I know there is actually. I was just. I'm sorry. I was just took it and meme done. I don't want to disrespect your. Your fucking. Your car memes. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's it's that uh, yeah. I'm I'm just uh, guys. I'm just trying to mute. I'm sorry. Uh, Shiba, you. I would love to, I'd love to travel at some point. That would be maybe me and Casey. That'd be a cool like honeymoon for us. We don't want to do our honeymoon until like a year after the wedding. Which I, dude, dude. Maybe I'm just fucking lazy. The idea of planning a wedding and throwing a wedding and then having to immediately like plan a vacation and, and travel that that sounds like a nightmare to me i hate traveling dude there's just so many hates on thoughtful message at yeah, true and real breaking news streamer makes fun of one of his viewers passions cringe <laughs> true yo sure alpha thank you for the shiny charm danny I mean, it's true, Rumel, true. Hey, I would never, I would never disrespect someone's passion or interest, okay? I would disrespect them for being British, though. Based, yes, that is true. Yes, I will admit to that. True, true, true. I just hate, I just, I just hate, tr traveling is more stressful to me than fun. I, that, like, that's, like, the packing, the moving of all your stuff, the unpacking, like, all of that stress is not worth the, like, week or whatever you're there. It's just, I don't, I really, I don't care to see new things. It sounds very, like, the meme is, I don't, I'd rather just, I'd rather explore, I love new things. I love experiencing new um, hobbies and passions and interests, but I can do all that at home, right? Like, I have, I have so many new things that I want to do at home, right? Cutest boy. I respect Time Zero, dude. Um, like, why would I go travel when I could go learn about fucking hang tab variants of like <laughs> video games? Why would I want to go travel when I could learn the hardware of a PlayStation 2 and learn how to like take apart, repair, and like heal them and stuff? Um, why would I travel when I could go? Um, your plus two is what? Wait, what? Six times zero? 
what I said? Um, why would I, why would I travel when I could go read Berserk? You know, I, I feel like there's just, there's just, uh, we live in such a goddamn day and age where you can do anything from home and, and explore so many things. I just, I don't care about traveling. Yeah, I'd rather go play a sport. I'd rather go. There's so many ways I can experience different cultures and experience different things at home. You know. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll have to travel to Japan for that experience. That is true, swear to. That is true. Dude, I feel like I probably would like a cruise. <laughs> I feel like maybe I'm just a boomer, man. I feel like a cruise does sound kind of fun. An all-inclusive cruise, like all your drinks and stuff are paid. That sounds bomb, dude. All your food and drinks are paid for. What sports do you play? I mean, I dude. Not not much nowadays. It's hard to like play sports as an adult. I know it's kind of a cope, but it is kind of it's hard to like. It it feels embarrassing to do local leagues, which is super dumb because they're awesome. Um, but one of the coolest things you can do is like being like a younger adult like sports leader or whatever. Um, but I I'm just ba basketball. Like the sport I played the played the most of my life is basketball. I really liked like backyard football and stuff when I like growing up. But like, I'll play I'll play whatever. I love sports. It's just really fun. Uh, Titanic stream like the oh like the <laughs> shut up and stream off the cruise it's like that one guy the fucking YouTube show. I could like stream off the cruise and then I could tax right off the uh <laughs> the expense of the cruise because I was working from there based true good old streamer tax memes so I don't think that would fly but it's funny a, a cruise seems fun dude my back hurts. I don't. I don't have. I don't have back pain, thankfully. Um, I feel like there's so many people in their 20s who have back pain. I don't have back pain, thankfully. I have like neck slash shoulder pain and stiffness, but that's like whatever. This is my nerd neck. Yeah. No. Absolutely. You're not wrong, Jellied. Oh, man, yeah, maybe, man. Nerd deck? What the fuck is that? You never heard of nerd deck? I got nerd neck for sure, dude. Hate to admit it. SS and IRL stream. Walking helps, though? Yeah. Me and Casey need to start. We've been trying. We went like a, we like a two-hour walk yesterday. We have like an hour and a half. We want to start doing... It's like... Dude, it, I feel like it's actually... Maybe I'm Cope. I feel like it's borderline impossible to... If you walk 10,000 steps a day, I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm a fat guy, right? I mean, big and tall, but also fat, right? If you walk 10,000 steps a day, I feel like it's impossible to put on weight. Like, not really, but like, border, obviously, you could eat more calories. Well, but like, it's like pretty tough. Like, 10,000 calories a day is just so fucking, like, good. It's just so... Or what am I saying? 10,000 steps. Am I saying calories? 10,000 steps. Um, If you walk 10,000 steps a day, it's just so good. Like, we have friends that... um. If you like walk for work, it's so, so nice. Who's your NBA team? I'm a loose Nuggets fan, but I'm only a Nuggets fan because back when I played a uh, 2K13 with the boys growing up, I was a Nuggets fan, and that was back when. Now they're really fucking good, which is awesome, and I'm happy for Jokic and all the boys. But like, um, I never followed the NBA too much, even though I like the sport I played the most was basketball. I um. I followed. I was a huge NFL fan. I, football is my favorite sport. Like my favorite sport's football. But the, but the um, I'm a Raven, I'm a fucking diehard Ravens fan. Uh, it's criminal we haven't gotten a ring yet with Lamar. We absolutely deserve it. We've been the best team in the league for like multiple years, but injuries have fucked us so hard. Um, <laughs> but anyways, copium and we've choked. Okay, but that's a, we that's okay. Um, but fuck yeah, walking is so it's so ridiculously good for you. Like so stupid good. The lost pack queen. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah, it's fucking like honestly. I was I I'm just happy Lamar got paid. I I love Patrick Patrick Queen, um, but I uh, dude, I would I would lose every other player, <laughs> like to, to cheap Lamar. I he is a fucking dream come true for me, man. My favorite player, my favorite sorry, not my favorite, my favorite quarterback growing up was Michael Vick, and obviously he had his whole thing, and he came back. He dude, he is one of the most love him or hate him. Okay, he is the definition of like. One of the few people that like reform, he actually reformed, right? Um, actually fucking reformed and I'm happy for him. But so it's, it's my dream come true. The point is my dream come true to see like a Michael Vick type player, if not better on the Ravens. Like I'm Lamar Jackson's a dream come true for me. 
He's like such a raven through and through. Um, yeah, dude, goddamn. So, yeah, just in a bakery. Fuck, that's tough. Working in a bakery is tough. For fucking staying fit. I think I'm big based. It's like what you're saying. Yeah, I was. I loved. I loved Vic, dude. I mean, I, st I still love Vic. I mean, not yet. What's up, 40k dry? Yeah, what's up, Logan? Um. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, Jellied. What was, I, what was I saying? I kind of forgot. It's another price check or is it a different price check? Okay, you actually got the breed. Ah, uh, the defense low rolling sucks, but what? How did that? What, I mean, I assume the breed or whatever, but this is okay. Let me price check this. This is a good, I feel like this is a good shelter. The defense low rolling does suck. Fuck, but what are you going to do? It's it's already there. Um. Okay, what I would do actually is just... Shelter, any shelter with these stats can be stupid. It's so good. Adamant. That's obviously overpriced, but but I don't know. It's probably worth a fair bit. What if we get rid of this? Just literally just a 31 speed, 20 plus adamant shelter is 80k, which is actually accurate. Um I would undercut this guy. I would do 120k for this. Yeah, I would do 120. Yeah, I would do 120. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Agar Lore, egg by far. It's not even remotely close, Gorilla. Uh, good luck to you, Admiral. I would do 120k on it. Andre, was Andre Johnson the, like, Texans wide receiver? I used to know every fucking player in the NFL, dude. Um, back in, like, 2008. <laughs> I knew, like, everybody. 2006, 2008. But I'm so behind on sports now. I love sports, but I don't follow as much as I wish I did. Yeah, he was Andre Johnson was super underrated. I mean, he was like pretty like pretty loved it. But he never had like a quarterback. I feel like to really pop the fuck off with, you know. He never could really shine, even though he was so incredible. Dude, I've unironically thought about that JW. Yeah, yeah. Did, was it? Didn't Andre make it? Yeah, make it to the Hall of Fame. I can't remember, which is pretty cr impressive. Yeah, that's pretty wild. They that's pretty crazy actually. Like not not being a chance to shine at all. That's so crazy. Obviously his stats were really good, right? That's the meme, but like he never got never close to a championship, I feel like. First ballot. That's so fucking impress on on a team that was like dog shit with with like the entire time he was on them, right? Like pretty much. That's crazy. Unless I'm I obviously could be wrong, but like I feel like his team was so bad when he was on the, on them. Like what was his best quarterback? Matt Schaub? Like what who did like what was the best Derek Carr? Who's the um who was the best quarterback he played with? Did they, what was the one got Hasselhoff QB? Was it, is it Matt Hasselback? Was he a Texan? What was he? I don't know why I remember him. He was just a journeyman, I guess. I think like I remember him being a Texan at some point. Maybe he wasn't though. No, he was a Seahawk. He was, a, that's what I'm confusing him with. Anyways, Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, sports talk. What's up, Bradley? I'm hunting you down in game. Car was the best. Yeah, yeah. Poor Andre Johnson, dude. I mean, he was just like Andre Johnson was very similar to fucking um Megatron, right? Like Andre Johnson and Calvin Johnson, very similar situations. Incredibly good wide receivers with never a team around them to succeed closer to julio oh probably in terms of play that's probably yeah i'm dude i'm just once again i'm just fucking did julio jones did he never get a ring or did he get one with the
Did he get a ring? He's not one. I thought he had a ring. Fuck, what the damn. I don't want to talk about it. Are you fine? Oh, yeah, because you're a, you said you're, you're a Falcons fan, right, Chewy? I, I respect, I have a friend who's a huge Falcons fan from, uh, uh, from Atlanta. Or from Georgia. I don't know if he's from Atlanta. From Georgia. Um, I respect. I'm here for the Falcons fans. I respect it, dude. Yeah, it was that. I was really rooting for the Falcons that Super Bowl, dude. Lions just sucked. I mean, yeah, they're the only own 16. I, I was, I was so, where's Shiny Nick at? We have a, we have a huge Lions fan in my, in my audience somewhere. I was so rooting for the, um, Lions to go to the Super Bowl this year. I was so sad when the 49ers made it. Old Nick. Dude, me and, me and Shiny Nick were both collectively so fucking sad that, oh my God, that weekend, dude. Holy shit. I can't wait Twitch chat. I love you, Shiny Nick. Dude, I, Fuck, dude. He was a huge Lions fan. I was a huge Ravens fan. We were both rooting to like see each other in the Super Bowl. And then we both just got fucked. Both of us got fucked tremendously. Couldn't believe it. Steelers making some moves though. I don't hate any sports team in the entire world except for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck you, Steelers fan. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, I've never met a Steelers fan in my entire life who wasn't like a... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I, <laughs> I hate Steelers fans. I'm so sorry. They're cringe. They're actually crazy. That's direct. <laughs> I love you, Cosmic. Um, Steelers are unbearable. They're so fucking... I feel like Steelers fans are... <laughs> They're just bad people. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Pennsylvania is just so fucking coin flip, dude. What about Jets fans? I'm, I've, I, don't, I don't think I've ever met a Jets fan. <laughs> like, face to face. Obviously, I know of them, but... Oh, yo, what's up, Stefan? Happy to see you, man. Coming from a Browns fan. Respect the Browns fans. I respect pretty much every single... Then there's a whole L, yeah. Okay, I actually... I like the Eagles. Eagles fans are the worst. From my experience, I actually have met a lot of Eagles fans that I like. I, I, I like... 9 out of 10 Eagles fans are actually cool. But then there's that 1 out of 10 Eagle fan that is unhinged. Like that... Like, I'll never forget. Dude, I was at a fucking, like... Uh, I was talking to... I was talking to... um. One of my girlfriends, or my fiance, my fiance's friend's boyfriend. So just like some guy or whatever, right? And he was an Eagles fan. And I was like, oh, yo, like, you're an Eagles fan? That's so cool, dude. Like, I, I really love that you guys, like, gave Michael Vick a second chance. I loved when you guys had, um, oh, fuck, what's his name? Deshaun Jackson. Uh, I used to, like, play with uh, Brian Westbrook back in the day. Like, Brian Duck. Like, Eagles have some really cool history. Like, oh, man, Eagles are so cool. I really respect the Eagles, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, after I, like, hyped up his team, he said... <clears throat> hey man, how come Lamar can't throw still? And I wanted to fucking punch this guy in the face. Dude, if you are still under the guise that Lamar can't throw, I'm sorry. But you are putting copium deposits so far up your ass. I don't know. It's actually crazy. Um, if you still think, I, you're so cope. You're so cope. He's probably, you're so cope, dude. Easily, he's like top five. He's like the best running quarterback in the league by far and probably top five throwing quarterbacks as well. It's not even close. It's ridiculous. Oh, I didn't see that, Shane. That's very, very cool, honestly. Oh, someone said DH earlier. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, dude, I, yeah, I, I've had so I've had a lot of good experiences with Eagles fans. You know, we're both birds, Eagles and Ravens. You know, I have no beef with the Eagles. I like them. Um, but you look at that one out of 10, which is so cringe. Um, I Chiefs fans, I absolutely love, absolutely love um, Andy Reid. I'm so happy that he's. I used to use Andy Reid's playbook back in Madden 06 and Madden 08 when he was the coach for the Eagles. Uh, it, was, it was my favorite offensive playbook in the whole in the NFL. Um, fucking love that he's. I love. I love that he's like respected now as like a great coach. Um, a church in my mind. Fuck. I like Belichick just because he gave so much respect to Ed Reed. So I just like that. That's really. I don't know how much of a take. I like how much respect. Like I think Belichick said, like he liked like Ed Reed was like literally like, one of one of the players he like hated to play the most. And he called Ed Reed the best safety in all of football. Ever, which is based. Ed Reed does not get enough fucking respect, dude.
so, dude, so many, uh, dude, a hundred percent. Jimmy Tree, so many of my food takes are all like, or not my food takes, fo football. Literally, like, yeah, all of my food takes, little bit of saving ever. Yeah, true, base, real. I feel like maybe, maybe it is more like, maybe it's more unanimous than I fucking think, but. Dude, yeah, Ed Reed is easily the best. Easily. Um, but I feel like, like, back, at least back when, um, he was, like, active, people constantly fought back and forth over, like, Palomalu versus Ed Reed. It was never close. It was never, I'm sorry, it was never even remotely close. Um, holy shit. But, like, that was, like, a quote-unquote rivalry. And it's, like, Palomalu was good, but, like, he was not close to Ed Reed. Isn't even second? Oh, definitely not, yeah. I, I think Brian Dawkins was way better than Ed Reed. Pers or not, sorry, oh, Paul Malu. Oh, I am horrible at speaking. Um, why do I do this for a living? Cringe. I think Brian Dawkins was way better than Troy Palomalu. I really liked Brian Dawkins. Um, yeah, Ed, Ed Reed, I get it. And dude, you know what? You know what? So... I'm sorry. I hate the Steelers. I'm sorry to you Steelers fans, but I will say, I fuck, dude, the two players on the Steelers that gave me the most nightmares was Heinz Ward and Santanio Holmes. The amount of, like, last second touchdown passes those two fuckers caught. Ridiculous. I I just knew at any point they, they were so clutch. They were so clutch. Um, Steady dog in me. What's up? No, there was someone else who's a Steelers fan. What's up? I respect that cosmic. Uh, football versus rugby. I, I don't have an argument over it because I respect rugby. Like, I like football, but like I feel like I like rugby as well. Obviously, I don't know rugby that well or watch it, but I feel like I just, I feel like both are just good. I'm pretty like, yeah. I like to have, okay, fun and confrontational, like fun debates, but like, I'm not going to take dumb debates for no reason. Like, rugby and football are both just good. I like they're both just good. Yeah. Uh, it's probably true, Chewy. I, I have no idea, honestly. What about targets here? Sudowoodo number one. Sudowoodo number one, Mr. Mime number two, Brelum number three, Seth number four, Cricket number five. T is what gives the Brits power. Dude, T is good. I respect it. What college team? I don't know shit about college sports. I. I my sports tates are funny, dude. Like, I liked Ohio State because I had an Ohio State logo football growing up. That's my logic. Like, I, like I don't... I don't know, dude. I don't know shit about college football. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I don't know anything about college football. It was just a good football. I have no... No college sports takes. Never got into it. Please don't be an Ohio State fan. I wouldn't say I'm actually. It's just like a funny meme. Like maybe I don't know. I don't I have no college takes, man. You're better than this. As an Ohio State man, I'm out. Dude, Logan is catching all the strays. Ohio State, Steelers. It's rough, dude. Yeah, that's always tough, Bradlin. I'll never forget the debate I had. I had like, dude, some of them, not, I wasn't really that bad, but like I had a debate on stream with someone who, who tried to say that the Ravens were, um, he tried to say that the Ravens were like a not successful team. And I was like, dude, um, statistically the Ravens have, I'm pretty sure the third highest or the second highest win rate in the NFL all time. Like that's insane. <laughs> like the Ravens have been, they haven't been around for very long, like 96. Um, but they are easily like one of the most successful teams in the league history, probably. Um, obviously due to not be, you know, but it's fucking wild, man. So how to stay in the Ravens? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. If, if yes, if you have, a, if your team has a Super Bowl in the past, um, in the past, like, yeah, like 10 to 15, that's really good. Like 15 years. That's, that's doing good. You know? Uh, all-time NFL win 
rate. Let's see. Yeah, so, yeah, the Ravens are number three. Dallas Cowboys have a 57.6% win rate all time. That's number one. Number two is Packers at 57.2. The Ravens have the third highest all time like win rate, 56.9%. Literally the third highest in the in the history of the sport. Then it's Bears and Patriots, Dolphins, 49ers. We're like we're like all new. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, Chewy. At yeah, Green Bay's number two. Uh it, it, it makes it Packers won the did the Packers won the first Super Bowl. Packers have been Packers have been around forever and been historically pretty solid. I respect Packers fans, I get it. Uh what are you trying to hunt there, swear to? First two? Was it the first two? Fuck. That's kind of funny. Forgot about that. Lions fans sweating. I'm rooting for the Lions fans, dude. I respect it. <laughs> top 50? That's a good meme. Wait, that's a good bit. Saying something's top 50. Good bit, good bit. Yo, good luck to you, Tiago. Days on Wismer? Yeah, good luck to you, man. It sucks. I mean, it's tough, but good luck, good luck, dude. My Chargers, yeah. Respect the Chargers, dude. Philip Rivers, LD, LT, LT, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've talked about the fucking Chargers. Do they have Jeremy Shock. Was that is that their one of their? They they had a. Who was the Chargers tight end that was good? Why can't is it Antonio Gates? Antonio, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, okay. I remember. New coach in Charger Nation? Wait, wait, did, wait, is Jim Harbaugh coaching the, I fucking love. Is Jim Harbaugh coaching the Chargers now? Do, do, do. That's fucking awesome. Hell yeah, dude, I'm down. Dude, what am, I mean, I love that the, uh, the most recent Ravens Super Bowl was the brotherly fucking bowl, the blackout bowl. That that was such a goddamn good. That's awesome, dude. Dude, I'm, I don't know. I'm not involved in sports. I love sports. I'm not, I'm not like super knowledgeable nowadays, but like why why did they get rid of Jim after the 49? Like, he like took him to the Super Bowl. And then he like, did he step down or did they like, why, why did the 49ers get rid of him? I feel like he was so good for them. Hasn't won a Super Bowl, but I feel like he fucking did good. I don't know. Maybe it's just some dumb shit. Won every other championship. I just don't get, like, I feel like Jim Harbaugh is a good coach. John Harbaugh is, I can't imagine, dude, I go on um social media, people dick on John Harbaugh, and I can't believe it. John Harbaugh is, like, probably one of the best coaches in the NFL, in my, I don't know, fucking once again, in my uneducated opinion. Um, but John Harbaugh has easily been the best Ravens coach ever. Like, obviously, Brian Billick was, like, solid. I liked him, but John Harbaugh has been incredible for the Ravens. I don't know, dude. You don't know what's good for us? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, yeah, I don't know, dude. Gotcha. He left the Niners from Michigan. Okay, if he left, that makes sense, but that was just, that was just crazy. Fair enough. I appreciate you guys fucking I like that we got some sports bros in chat to teach me. Hoochie Warrior. <laughs> Glad I streamed that one. Thanks for the uh for the Twitch follow, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, dude. Uh yeah. I dude, I love I love sports. I just don't uh I don't have time to keep up with it. Or I don't put in the time to keep up with it. But I like I like I like talking about it, I like hearing about it. I try to be reasonable with my takes since I'm not as involved nowadays. Aka Bills fan. I have a friend who's a huge Bills fan. I had a teacher in school who's a huge Bills fan. I respect Bills. I'm happy that Bills are finally doing decent. Nice emote, Coochie Warrior. Um Dude, yeah, I, 
As much as I hate the Steelers, Logan, I always really liked Mike Tomlin, personally. Obviously, I don't know what the fuck do I really know, but like, I, I, I liked Mike Tomlin. Except for that one time when he got fined like 100 grand because he was in the way of one of our uh, returning kickers or returning. That would have been a touchdown. Easy. You know, come on. That was a, that was a funny. It was a funny play where he got, he got fined so much money for that uh for that mistake. You don't like the Steelers, man, man, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just I feel like I'm pretty fair with sports takes. I really don't hate like or dislike any sport or any team. It's just the Steelers. I'm sorry. I. The terrible towel, dude. Ugh, I don't. I feel like the ta the Steelers are just disrespectful as a team, like consistently, and I don't like that. I don't like that the Steelers operate in like a disrespectful way. Bonds life for the decks. Um, I was fourteen. I was a cave. Oh, I, I see what you're saying, Swear to. I actually, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm sorry that I don't have a good answer, dude. Uh, what you could do, so Swear to, what you could do is you could come catch a Sudowoodo at like this lo location in game and then breed it down and, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, catch a Sudowoodo and breed it down into a bonsai. But you have to like use the essence or whatever. It's probably easier if you can just find the bonsai, but I don't know exactly how that how if that, I'm not for sure if that works. You need lores, yeah. But it says cave in the poke. I just yeah, I just don't know. Maybe it maybe it does just count as a cave. You probably just I would just try it. Lore species and islands. Yeah, it, we know that awk. It's just that it um, it's that it says cave in the dex entry. I don't know if that's um, just a mistake or if that's just irre irrelevant or if it te technically is a cave. Like that's that's kind of what we're. There we go. So there, yeah. Alk has the Alk has the answer we were looking for. The forest is a is a cave. It's classified as a cave. Okay. Should be pretty easy to just go lore and encounter them. Good luck to you, dude. Thank you, Alk, for clarifying. What about the shiny tool we're looking for? Then that's just a good thing. <laughs> Swear to. That's just pog. Uh, I would say probably like. 2012, Dratini is just like one of the most desired, you know, mons from that era. It's so nostalgic. I don't follow, if I followed hockey, I probably would hate the Penguins, but I don't follow hockey. The region is, I have no idea. Well, you should be able to, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Much, I don't know much of a take on it. The 15 they're just they are strange like What do you do with them after I I don't know what to do with them either at I, I keep them, but it feels like a waste of space Uh, yeah, it feels in Pokemon It's feel These nuts feel this dick. It's feel this dick. Fuck you. Is that what it is? It's definitely a dis dick joke Definitely definitely There's no way you'd at no way Take a take a feel of this. Watch it, watch it, cosmic. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I, I kind of get it. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I gotta watch out, dude. I was serious. Okay, I gotta watch out for the. I gotta keep an eye out, man. Gotta keep. Gotta sleep with one eye open. Okay, that's just how I. It's how I roll with those D's nuts jokes. Ten minute timeout. He didn't make the pun. Maybe he didn't mean it. <laughs> That's awesome, James. That's kind of cool, JW. I didn't know that, JW Tree. God, God, yeah, that's kind of smart. If he did that, I mean, fair enough. Uh, Peepo Peepoya. I'm sorry in advance. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Chat demands sacrifice. Not standing on business. It's a crazy meme. When Coochie Warrior says you're not standing on business, you know you fucked up bad. That's kind of fair. That's kind of reasonable.
For real, for real, god damn it. Ah, we're gonna push. We're gonna push. be pushing 45k, fellas. I feel like my single encounters per hour are not good. Like, I feel like my rate per hour is so bad. Uh, I think doubles is solid, but it's not... You and OU? I, well, UU is way less popular than doubles, I'm pretty sure. There's not much, like... Doubles? There's not much, like, content on doubles. Or, like, much talked about or money guides. Doubles is pretty interesting in Pokemon. Doubles is just inherently more complicated and more interesting. But, um... The issue with doubles in Pokemon is that it doesn't operate the same way VGC does. It's not bring six, take four into the battle. It's bring six, battle with six. So it's a 6v6 doubles format, which is kind of strange. You will see, Cryptic. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I feel like I would, I, I kind of want to start experimenting with doubles, Dylan. I feel like I would heavily prefer doubles. I super agree. That's like literally the most frustrating thing to me in Pokemon singles PvP is like, it just feels so optimal all the time to switch. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, yeah. No, I super agree. Doubles feels really cool. $30 on, fuck, we're taking like money bets, like 30, uh, fuck, 30 on red. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Doubles is, doubles is a good format. It's one that I would love to. If I were to like take PvP seriously and get into it, I'd probably try to do doubles or something. All in. Ah. Win Petrowski gambling stream? Probably never. Like, gambling's cool. And you should do it responsibly. But like, I don't I don't feel like I don't feel like I need to gamble on stream. I don't know if I ever do. I don't know, man. I like blackjack. Trust you, casino? Nah, I've never been to a casino. I could do a. Uh, oh, what I could do is um. Ooh, I could play um. Legal in Maryland, yeah. I could uh. Do I could do a fucking Fallout New Vegas? blackjack stream now we're talking that's kind of based i love that's kind of based what are you shunning uh at this spot the best possibilities are number one for me personally number one sudowoodo number two mr mime number three brellum number four scyther number five cricketune the first four are all rares you think how many times i repeat that sentence i'd remember it properly by now but i still mess it up Yo, that's pretty exciting, Logan. Congratulate. Yeah, you're actually getting married in Vegas as a planned schedule ahead of time, not just like an overnight crazy hangover type. Wow, dude, that's what a what a what a that's a cool meme. That's awesome, dude. Caravan, I suck. I never learned caravan, dude. I was definitely one of those. I never learned it. Shiny Scyther. Shiny Scyther, unfortunately, looks like shit. Even though it's a cool Pokemon. Um. That's so rich, three mil. Hey, come on, dude. Don't play me like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't fucking okay, come on. My cash stack is piss piss bad right now. It's turbo bad, dude. I might have like the lowest cash stack in T Mister. <laughs> fucking up there, bro. One of the probably bottom ten. So much gambling. Um, no, I just been it's invest. I've been investing most of my Poke in. I, I I usually have a pretty low cash stack because I usually buy stuff to invest and sit on. Looking for Gligar. Good luck to you. This is a great shunt, dude. Happy at two mil. I mean, like, sorry, I don't mean to like. I don't like. You can do like most things in the game with two mil. Um, it depends on how long you've been playing and stuff, you know, like. For me, for ha after playing for like 11 years, 3 mil cash is pretty pathetic, you know? Um, yeah, you're not wrong, Danny. It's nice to have some capital, though, for certain, you know, certain flips and buys. What's up, Skia? Yeah, Shiny Scyther sucks. It has like a little green, like, it's like a little green and like the little arms or whatever. Shiny, yeah. 
Yeah, if you have two million, you're new. You're doing fantastic. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing. It's actually cosmic. Like, as much as I play, for as long as I've played, my cash stack is pretty bad. Um, Sand Slash is a phenomenal shiny. But it's because I spend it all. Like, I have... I think I have, like, what, 30 or 40 mil in anniversary chest alone. And then, like, a bunch more. I just... All my money is in items. I think I have, like... I think I have, like, a 400 mil Pokey and net worth. But it's just all in stuff. I'm sitting on... Like, I always buy, like... I stock up on expert lures and stuff as well. And, like, Pokeballs. I have, like, 600 repeat balls. Which are now, like, not very good. I've got 1,300 anniversary chests. You know, 645 2022 goodie bags. 447 2021 goodie bags. 1,000 Grisiduas. Um, elemental orbs, so, you know, some particle effects here and there that I sit on, like Eerie Hells. Um, a bunch of mysterious balls, 540 greats, 440 pokers, 70 premieres. The premieres alone are like 20 plus mil, I'm pretty sure. This is a lot. The premieres alone... The premieres alone are, um, 22 mil. Those 70, 60 ultras... Santa presents, red envelopes, 557, 2024. How the fuck did I? What the fuck? Um, 550, 2021, Xmas presents. 6, 2018, Xmas presents. Let's open them. No. <laughs> fuck off. No. This shit is investments, boys. This is Pokemon. Look at all the vanities I have. All these, one of everything. Hoban. Witches hats. I have like 77 Kobons. Two psychic training helmets. Purple Cthulhu mask. A couple skull helmets. Like 10 zombie masks. I have a lot of a lot of vanities. Look at my fart, Pat. Shut up. Don't say look at my fart, you dumb. Come on. His name being Gunther is kind of funny. Most expensive vanity you have? I don't have any vanity that's like worth a lot. I just have like a bunch of... Yeah. I just have like a bunch of cheaper-ish memers. Or a bunch of like... A bunch of vanities that cost like 1 to 3 mil. Uh, What's up, Yito Greets? What's up, what's up? How are you doing? I'm in your walls. Thank God. I, would just, I was getting real bored, okay? I need somebody on my walls tapping around. Uh, what's the major staff so cheap? Dude, yeah, major staff tanked. How many are in supply? It's a good question. Major staff is one of like the worst investments everybody collectively made together. <laughs> like every everybody thought major staff would be an easily you know good investment. It was not. <laughs> it was it was fucked. How are we doing today, dude? We're doing solid. Minky, what's up, dude? How the hell do you have so many? I've been playing for a long time, man. Playing for a long time, a lot of hours. Just sit here, run back and forth. I feel like so much of my stream is just me sit sitting and running back and forth in grass and like chat making fun of me. <laughs> so I feel like people forget that I actually have some some stuff in this game, you know? Like kind of it's which is kind of funny. I kinda of like that. It's the sleeper build. Yeah, what's up, Matthias? Uh, Leap Gear Shinies are fucking cool. I mean, are they are they worth anything more? Like, not really. Maybe to some really niche collectors, but they're awesome. I think it's super cool. If anybody got any on February 29th, super happy for you. I would have loved to get one. I tried a little bit, but... I tried a little bit, but I was also super burnt from, uh... Like, the event. So tired. The gold, the gold, the dragons are limited. It's a good question. They're both limited. Uh, they're definitely not. I mean, OU is definitely the most. It's like it's pretty crazy, like how inactive the other tiers are compared to OU. But even then, like I don't know, dude. I've never had to wait more than like six minutes, six to eight minutes for like an NU game ever. I've queued at like 10 a.m. 8 a.m. for an NU game and gotten a game in like eight, like six minutes. Like it's not that crazy. Like it's not that unplayable. A Ludicolo. It's a great shiny. That whole line, man, is so good. We're here for the chat, not the game, dude. I, that's how, I'm the same way when I watch streams, so I get it. 
What's up, Glock? A Loudra dude? Yeah. Well, thankfully, I think, uh, thankfully, Roar doesn't... Roar doesn't cancel a wild battle anymore, as long as your Pokemon's higher level than it. From my understanding. Any Entei yet? Uh, I don't... I don't know which kind of legendaries have been achieved, honestly, at this point. Uh, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people got some February 29th Pokemon and Shinies. I didn't get any, honestly. I probably should. I might try. I was, I was tired, man. It was post. Like, the event had ended on, like, the 27th or 28th, and then, like, Leap Year's on the 20th. I was just way too tired. Mmm, that's, yeah. That's true, Air. Ah, uh, if they all had... That's... Okay, fair, Air. That's pretty fucking brutal. Are you this late? It's pretty... It's not crazy. I've been mean, live for four and a half hours. Not like a crazy... I think my average streams nowadays are around four hours. Yesterday was a short stream, though. Uh, they did not. They did not, from my understanding, Bradlin. The only nerf to gym runs was like the, uh, if you lose the battle, it's like a... Or if you log out or whatever, it's a 10 minute. You have to wait 10 minutes to be able to fight them again or continue. Yeah, I appreciate you hopping in at all, Skia. That's fair. Uh, I just finished breeding an Eevee with 25. Another one. That's so good, Admiral. Nice, dude. Nice job, dude. Dude, fair enough, Janky. Fair enough, man. I'm happy to have you, dude. What's up? What's up? Happy to catch you. Something just sold for a small 5k. We'll take it. Mean, it's been nice letting the... Uh, Letting the stuff stack up. I do want to start making more listings. But it's some of my damp rock sell, or do they just they just cancel? Ha, huh, no, they just canceled. Or no, they're not out yet, actually. Like, it's fine. I should relist some of this stuff. Pat, do you love me? Sure, why not, dude? What's up, six speed? You rolled for the HP? Wait, that's what that's your so risky for that, Admiral. Wow. Nice work, man. Five or twenty is crazy. I'm glad you got that. That's a huge high roll, dude. Um uh, dude, nice lock. I dude, alt counts are so good and so fun. Sure, why not? Do you say sure why not to your wife? Uh no, but I've also had intimate close connections with my life. With my with my life. With my wife. I've gone to many dinners with her, and I've, you know, known her for around three and a half years or so. So, do I love you, uh, a ran uh, not a random chatter, but do I love you, a chatter in my YouTube stream, as much as my wife? Um, no, I hope that's fair to say. Uh, no, not exactly as much, um, but I still love you. What's up, dude? So I like the meme, though. I respect it. I respect it. We could do we fuck. We could do all that. <laughs> that's kind of a good meme. <laughs> You never took me to dinner. Did give me a chance, Pat. Breaking immersion. Wow, Pat. So streamer is so rude. We have intimate connections. Probably fair. Probably fair. I want to see Shantae so bad. Me too, dude. <laughs> me, me fucking too, Bulgarian. Whoo, me too, man. I know it's it's kind of selfish, in my opinion. Six speed. It's kind of selfish. But that's just. That's who I am, you know, selfish streamer. Oh, you're trying to spoil me, six speed. Okay. Well, wait, now I might have to reconsider. <laughs> the dumbest. <laughs> oh, let's see about the dinner. Ooh, wait a minute. Wife of three years or chatter takes me out to dinner. Mmm, let me think about this one. Uh, pretty, yes, it's... Pretty much, yes, Dia. Uh, I mean, the more regions you have done, the better. If you have all regions done, absolutely, Dia. Jimmy runs are just so good. They're just such consistent Poke in and like pure cash. They're like Jimmy runs are just like the best thing you can do to build up pure capital. It's and it's so consistent and so good. Think carefully. You're going to a Pokemon. Yeah, she definitely won't be suspicious. 
when I say that I'm going to a Pokemon tournament and travel for the first time. Yeah, sure. Ugh, yeah, that's that'll that's rough, Logan. I really uh, with your wife. You should do that. Oh yeah, of course. I, we, me and Casey are really good about like, we pretty much constantly have little like dates. I don't know. Maybe it's not like I'm trying to think. What was the, what was the last? To be fair, we've gone out to eat less than ever over the past month. We 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 go out to eat way too much. We've gone out over the past month less than ever because we're like we're really in like crunch time for the wedding for like money and for health we look look slim you know so we've gone out to eat way less but we, but we like walk together every day i don't think that was like a date but like i don't know it's cute we hold hands and walk around our little area um i'm lucky me and casey are doing ah, the simp simp glaze fast cringe 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 but uh i mean dude me and casey do pretty well not perfect, but we, we do pretty damn good, you know? Ah, cringe. I'm cringing. Anyways, happy for you. You're very sweet. You're very sweet. Now shut up and move on. I'm sorry. Uh, how many encounters? Yeah, how many? Yeah, it's exactly, it's Jack. Uh, how many encounters do you guys think? 45k from that shiny? Shiny hunting date? Dude, Casey fucking kept up to me, like hour per hour like she really kept up when um when we did shiny wars but it's awesome it one of the my favorite thing I, I don't get why more couples don't hold hands i don't know i feel like my favorite thing is to see like old people who are like 70 fucking years 60 70 80 years old like going grocery shopping with each other and they're still like holding hands like that's the cutest shit in the world that that's you you see that couple if you're like 80 years old holding hands you're like oh dude that's they're fucking soulmates like that's real shit that's so cute i feel like that goes really far you know <laughs> yeah dude i yeah i feel like i feel like holding hands in public is super cute you got clam <laughs> clammy hands it ain't it hey unclamium unclamium i'll try to i'll try to do a cam stream Whenever possible, dude. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Especially from that... Gen I feel like so many people from that generation, like... You just got married for, like, financial safety. Which, I mean, is... I understand. I'm not trying to, like... Sh like it's just what you had to do, you know? I'm not trying to, like, shame that. Um, it literally... That was just the, that was just the norm. So, I feel like so many people married out of, like... They married because it was, like, just the, the social norm. It was just the thing to do. Like, go to college, get married, have a kid. So, a lot of people just did that out of, like... They were told to. I think a lot of people, then a lot of people married for like financial security. Um, so it's I don't know. It's it's cute to see. Hopefully, our generation has a lot more older people who. I mean, relationships are fucking hard, but hopefully, our generation has more old people who hold hands and love each other. It'd be cute. It really, it, Logan. Yes, the fuck. The urge to do times five hordes after 40,000 uh, encounters is unreal. Yes, it, it, it really, you're really speaking to something there, dude. A hundred percent. I'm going to clip you not holding hand, like fucking stream clip. That's funny. I just need to do shiny wars a little time. I got my first shiny one to participate, but I work at that time. Wait, what's up, Chase? I'm not, dude. I have no interest in hosting a shiny war. I'm sorry, man. I can only do one shiny war a year. It fucking cooked me. Um, it's so exhausting. And I only do Team Mister shiny war. So if you're not in Team Mister, I, I'm sorry, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a shiny war once a year kind of guy, dude. I'm now at this age, this old age. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. I'm really sorry, dude. But I encourage you to keep going, Chase, and pop off and just shunt with the community, shunt with the Pokemon community, you know. Yo, Heike, what's up, dude? You still have the... Heike, you're a founder of the channel, right? Where are you at? I feel like you have a founder badge or something. I feel like you're one of the founders or whatever. You have a thousand plus total... Fuck, okay, these stats are awesome. Heike, you have a th over a thousand messages in my, uh, in my stream, and you have 13 timeouts. 
That's incredible. 13 timeouts is awesome. That's quite good. No, dude, don't apo That's not what I... Sorry, you don't feel pressure to sub. That's not what I was trying to say. You're perfect, dude. Only 13? Yeah, honestly, pretty low. Pretty good. Yeah, good ratio. Dude's efficient. Uh, I mean, times five hordes are the best way to shunt if you want a shiny in the, in you know, in the hordes, you can't get every Pokemon in a horde. Only certain Pokemon are hoardable. But yes, um, it's the quickest way to shunt. Not like the the best. It depends on, you can't go times five horde for like a shiny Charizard, for example, right? Um, Charmeleon Swarm? I might go check that. Wait, which, uh, which region? Yeah, fuck, that'd be funny, Heike. You have a timeouts leaderboard now? I wish, dude. That'd be awesome. Which region's the Charmeleon? Go check Chansey as well, honestly. I think Dano split with like it has like a Durant spot and a Dano Mianfu spot. Was it a bait call or is it just over? Ah, was it a bait? Or was it just too late? Ah, uh, okay, I misunderstood. It was actually just, I mis misread. That's okay. Honestly, that's fine. I can just go to the Chansey Swarm, so. Just good. Just works. Part of a story, no swarm. I just am terrible at reading. This is actually what it is. Sorry about that. Oh. I really don't want you to do how... How about the on the other you become like a reporter? There's just so many shiny wars. I guess do you mean for like um T Mister specifically? I could try. We'll see. Like there's just in terms of like community shiny wars, there's a, there's many. A lot of different teams have copied. T Mister was the original team to come up with the idea, and a lot of other teams have copied, which is totally like well again not not copying like a oh malicious like be, like. Other people doing Shining Wars is awesome. Um, I appreciate if they're like crediting Team Mister for the idea, but it is like a good. Every the more Shining Wars, the better. Um, better for the community. No, you're per Chase. That's not your fault. I am sorry to you, dude. I totally just misread and like you're perfect, dude. You're perfect. I should have Shiny checked these. Uh, is that a recur reoccurring problem? Brett, I don't know. I'm not familiar. Dude, I don't keep up with my Discord much. My mods handle it. Um, I'd say with those three reasons, you could do pretty solid. The, I will say the big one, uh, Minky, is Unova. If you get Unova done, you get so much, so many, so much access to so many gems. Um, it's so good. But with three regions done, yeah, for sure. For Wars, who's reporter on the with a lot of work, I think. Yeah, I, I maybe I'll try. We'll see. I might, I might just try to stream. Maybe I'll just do both Shiny Wars. I don't. Well, the meme is I, I'm not gonna be able. I probably won't be able to do like this summer's Shiny Wars. It'll be, it'll be around our wedding time. It'll be. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I don't see myself being able to do the other Shiny War this year. It's just probably not, yeah. Also, it's it's just so demotivating, dude. Um, it's just really, really hard. It's really, really hard to um, shiny hunt 16 hours a day, if not more, like 16, 18 hours a day, and get after a week get nothing. It's it's just brutal. Yeah, exactly, Ark. Yeah, even if it's like within the same month, I'm just probably gonna be too tired and too yeah. So don't schedule around me. Like that's that's yeah. Um, Yes, uh, I'm engaged, Heike, and the wedding is scheduled for July 12th, 2024. Pretty fucking incredible thing, dude. Wars over wedding? Hey, come on. Holy shit, man. Yeah, what's up, dude? That's amazing. You're very sweet, dude. Thank you so much. I just got fucking lucky, man. I got lucky. Uh, I got per pursued. I got fucking pursued by my soulmate and girl of my dreams. Sounds cringy, and it is cringy, but it's also kind of true. Um, I was playing RuneScape 16 hours a day, 
and she said yo want to hang out and i was like yo let's go throw a football and she was like damn i'm rizzed and then that's now we're getting married that's how it goes uh that's the top tier relationship advice you'll find on this stream gentlemen there you go that's how you do it absolute peak peak riz material here true and real <laughs> anyways um yeah dude i love uh, lols out pokemon. dude it's the fucking old school runescape to pokemon pipeline is so real um i didn't even mean to like quit old school runescape it was really just like i just started playing i started playing pokemon again because i was doing the um prayer grind on my on my ultimate iron man i was doing 600 hours of pest control it, it should have been like four to five hundred but i lost so many games my teammates were so bad so it ended up being like 600 um which is crazy but like 600 hours of pest control for um 99 prayer so i started playing pokemo to do that in the background it was so boring that was like one of the hardest grinds it was so fucking boring pest control sucks man um and Yeah, so I started, playing, and I just, and I just kind of just, I don't know, I just started playing Pokemon more and more and more, and eventually I started playing RuneScape less and less, and it just sort of naturally happened. All right. All right, I will say, fellas, I've been live for four and a half hours today. It's been a fantastic stream. Some good shunts. We'll get to 44,900 encounters really quick, but I am going to go ahead and call it. Thank you guys so much for watching another stream, yet another Petrowski stream. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm just happy and lucky every day I can load up this game, start stream, and just talk to some awesome people. Shiny hunt, have fun, meme around. You guys make my day, okay? Thank you. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the Twitch for subs or follow twitch for streams uh monday through thursday at 12 p.m et discords links down below for updates on my content and also some helpful information and if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo do help out a ton um yeah thanks for watching guys you're awesome have a great day i'll see you later and good luck in pokemon also if you want check out factor uh my factor sponsorship is technically over but uh you guys can still go get factor 50 percent off with the link in my description um, on Twitch and on YouTube. Yes, I will end the damn, but thank you guys. Unfortunately, the doubters win yet again. Yet again. Um, yeah, if you want if you want 50% off some, some great food, check out the link. I do get a little commission or a pretty not healthy commission, I would say. So I appreciate it. It helps me. It supports the stream and gets you guys nice food. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. We're going to raid someone on Twitch. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Reno.